Hey, hope you guys are doing well. I just wanted to say something before we started. I've been doing this for a very long time. Like, I think it's going on six years now. So that is like, that is probably about maybe 30 plus hours of reciting posts from Tumblr. And I know in between all that, I've been sharing things that I've been working on, like music, art, my series. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, but I do appreciate everyone that does come and check out all the things I do besides this. I just want to say how grateful I am for the support on everything and including just doing this in general, because without reading these posts, I wouldn't have been able to do any of the things that I wanted to do. And if you got time during listening to this one, if you want to check out all the other things that I've got going on, I'd really appreciate it. And if not, I am not going to hold it against you. Sometimes people just want to listen to the guy reading Tumblr things. Heck, that's why you're here about to listen for this one for the next two and a half hours. So it's a binge mega compilation. See ya. Andy, do something to acknowledge your presence. Overclocks. P M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M. Thank you. All right, let's do this. Today I learned that all Northern Hemisphere thoroughbred horses celebrate their birthday on January 1st. Happy birthday to every horse in the Northern Hemisphere. I think it's very sexy when a fictional character knows they're doomed but makes the conscious choice to keep trying anyway. OP, are you defending Macbeth right now? Assume I'm doing whatever you think will bother everyone the most. <laughs> I need people to understand that if I'm online all day and do not respond to messages, it's because I need a day to not be a person. Instead, to be one of those undiscovered species of slugs that has lived in a cave for thousands of years and never seen sunlight and survives by eating moss. You could just say you need a me day, but sure, go off, fam. Writing prompt. You are a well-respected villain. You caused only necessary minor damages. You never purposely took a life, and you made sure to keep a strict code when dealing with civilians. But for some reason, some of the younger newbie heroes seem to think you are evil incarnate. It's because you put kiwi on your pizza, isn't it? Don't lie to me! Do you ever just think about Moon Big? Did you know I once tricked my dad into saying Moon Big? We were outside looking at a full moon, and I solemnly said, Moon Big. He nodded and said, Moon Big. And that was the end of our conversation. I'm glad she brought you together, because Moon indeed big and full of love. I had a dream last night that I stopped a person from going on a killing spree by stealing his gun out of his pocket and eating all of his bullets. Well, what did they taste like? Were they crunchy? Were your teeth okay? Did you put them in sauce? I got questions. It's unreal how all of my favorite characters have exactly the same traits and hobbies and diagnoses as me. Oh, have you been tricked into loving yourself? Oh my fucking God, is that what just happened? Bruh, if people want me to stop sympathizing with villains, they need to stop making the villains the one who want to change broken systems. And start making heroes fight to maintain the status quo, for fuck's sakes! Vulnerability is like so hard. If I told you anything sappy, please know that I had a hand-to-hand -hand combat with seven layers of embarrassment and repression. I don't know how to feel my feelings. I always forget there's a stuff for you page on Tumblr. The only stuff for me comes organically from the post my mutuals graciously handpicked for me to reblog. Like a nine-year-old girl palm feeding sugar cubes to a horse. An algorithm could never do that. Queer platonic is whatever those three middle-aged animal men from my age had, by the way. I hope you understand now. Actually, I do. Thank you very much, Multiverse Theory. That really clears it up. I love this character so much. I'd love to see them at the lowest point in their life. Hey, sorry your boyfriend fell into a public library book donation bin. Yeah, he's been used to fund vital community programs and support services. Yeah, beanbag chairs, too. You know, if you pay your overdue fines, we'll give them back, though. Seriously, does Tumblr have any idea what a boyfriend is? The sound a bass guitar makes is a gender. It is also a sexuality. It is also a secret third thing. <clears throat> Music?
Girl, your intrusive thoughts make you get a nose piercing. Mine make me think there is someone watching me try to sleep, so I have to open my eyes a tiny bit to make sure no one's there. We ain't the same. All right? Shout out to everyone who's died and come back sluttier each time. Love ya. Hey, it's five too young for the dark crystal. I don't want to scare my sister, but I want to show her. You know, I forgot that was the name of a film when I read this, and I thought you were desperate to show your five-year-old sister some sort of cursed artifact. Hey, hey, could be both. You don't know. Writer's block. Dry. No desire to write. No ability to write. Bearable. Writer's block. Wits. Huge desire to write. No ability to write. Very evil. Writer's block. Damp. No desire to write. Huge opportunity. Very annoying. It's funny how we say, ooh, a bug hit my windshield, when we're the ones going 70 miles per hour. I bet the bugs family describes it differently. Twitter discovers the theory of relativity. As if Tumblr was the first people to figure that out. A little girl and her mom were looking at me at the coffee shop this morning, and I heard her mom say, go on, it's okay. And the little girl shuffled up to me and said, excuse me, please. Do you have to put on your tattoos by yourself every day, or does your mom help you? Oh, my God. It's so cute. It's so cute. Andy, I end this episode before I die. Oh, God, it's too late. I'd be like, I'm not good at dealing with stress. And then pull on all-nighter just to play another stressful horror game. Me, after working for eight hours and coming home at one in the morning. We're not good at dealing with stress that we can't turn off. Yeah, that's it. That's it right there. That's, that, that's it. You just turned 18. You've been in a Discord server for a while, and you're finally allowed to join the NSFW channel. You open the channel. It's only them posting about OSHA violations at their workplaces and how they're going to unionize. Ah, it's good. I love how they just sort of gave up during the last few years of Fairly Odd Parents. This one frame manages to break every established rule the series set in the beginning. It also did the three most cursed words in animation history. <clears throat> Flash tweeting animation. I love how delusional some articles of clothing are. Like you read the tag and it's like, Hand wash only, tumble dry on low. Son, you are a cotton shirt. You're going in the wash and whatever happens in there is in God's hands. Person, we have removed all possible distractions. Yeah, but have you considered this? Zones out in daydreams. I have removed all distractions so you can do insert task. <laughs> Silly neurotypical, so naive. Don't you see? I am the distraction. The distraction is coming from inside the house. Hi, social media app here. We were just noticing you've turned off some of the settings that would normally allow us to intrude into your life even more than we already do. Obviously, he didn't mean that, right? Here's a handy button to turn all those settings on for you. Oh, you don't want to press the button right now? That's okay. We'll ask you again every other week for the rest of your life. Just in case you finally come to the realization that you actually want notifications about nothing sent everywhere all the time. Don't post your negativity on a positive post. Electrons. I should kick your ass. I just pretend I know what I'm talking about 150% of the time. If you can't blow them away with your brilliance, baffle them with your bullshit. I think I just found my senior quote. It's still so strange to me how apparently taboo it is to like a post on someone's Instagram from a month ago when there are posts still circulating on Tumblr from 1550 BCE. Well, if he didn't want it circulating in 2022, he should have sold better copper. Ah, I get the post. I call my parents and say, yeah, I can't do family stuff tonight. I got too much stuff to do for school. And I email my professor and say, I can't do my assignments tonight. Work got crazy. And I text my boss and I say, sorry, I can't work late tonight. I got to do some family stuff. And through this triangulation of deceitful excuses, I at last will be free. <laughs> Laptop. Please. Place me on a hard surface that does not obstruct my cooling fan. I am begging you. Shh, shut up. We're going to snuggle in bed. Dating apps are embarrassing. Crushes in real life are embarrassing. The only option left is to elope with a Tumblr mutual. I mean, how about no? D&D &D item idea. Bag of holding. Used. 
It's exactly like a regular bag of holding, except you got it second hand. And everything you put in it comes out covered in glitter. Andy, stop whatever you're doing and write that down. How did he do this? Why did he do this? Number one, strong. Number two, comfy. I can hear my earwax growing. It's gross. My body is a vessel for the bits. Sometimes tummy hurt, and that means you should eat food to appease it. Other times tummy hurt, and you should not eat food, lest the agonies increase tenfold. This is one of life's many difficulties. The easiest way I learned it. If it's a squeezing pain, you hungry, eat the food. If it's a stabbing pain, don't put any food in there. It wants out. I would have reblogged your flop post, my brother, my captain, my king. Game facts. In Elden Ring, Melania, Blade of Mikola, has two prosthetic legs. This is a reference to how she has never known defeat. <sighs> One of the most common fears is the fear that kobolds don't care about you. Such fears are unfounded. Kobolds love you. You have been visited by the Tewcumber. May you receive twofold luck in the coming days. Jesus, I thought it was a green pepper at first. You ask me what the time is, and I glance at my wrists, but instead of a wristwatch, there's a compass duct taped to my wrist, and I immediately turn and walk north, never to be seen again. My New Year's resolution is 480 by 640. Getting smaller. And yet, returning to comfort. The peasants have developed a parasocial attachment to you, my liege. They believe you were appointed by God himself, my lord. It's kind of cringe, sire. They're, like, totally obsessed with you. Hey, don't cry. I went to Mary U Island and none of your friends were there. <laughs> Why were you in Mary Island? It's him. It's McCree from Overwatch. Yo, it's 12 o'clock, dumbass! Absolutely tragic. 37 clowns were killed today in a devastating one-car pileup. The funeral has only one casket. It's what they would have wanted. It's so sad I might start crying. Pulls out a handkerchief. Pulls out a handkerchief. Pulls out a handkerchief. No, little punk girl, don't walk into the lightning storm. Your outfit is so conductive. Little punk girl, no! Men's section? More like where the hot women shop. Women's section? More like where the hot men shop. Soup section? More like where's the clothes? Soup store? More like why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? More like, fuck you! Somehow, it turns out that only a small group of people bought between 1988 and 2000 are able to properly understand and navigate the internet. It is up to them to make sure that those that come after don't fall for hot gnomes around your area.com. Yeah, maybe also teach them how to use Google. Seriously, guys, there was a time where Google was a search engine. It's pretty good. You ever go eat some food and your brain tells you to stop right fucking there? You can't just eat that food. Look at it. Do you see how fucking perfect that food is? I can't believe it's already 2023 already. This means like 2019 was seven years ago. So crazy. Stop with the bad math. That is not true. I'm sorry. I can't make it today. I have prior commitments. And it's to the beat! Um. Meow meow. Meow meow meow. Meow 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 meow. Meow meow. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. If you even care. Might be a stretch, but I don't think these are cows. Oh, oh, I know. Her name is Cow and that's her house. Don't fucking dox her, you asshole. What the fuck? You know, I get that being frozen for a hundred years is a tough thing to go through, but honestly, Aang should have used it for comedy more. Wow, so this is Omashu. Back in my day, it was called Weed City. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. That's what the Fire Nation wants you to think. Boomy, the second they arrive. Welcome weed to Weed day. City! What the fuck? Hey, Andy. You're doing great, man. Has there ever been a comic book run where in Spider-Man fights a spider's natural nemesis? A piece of paper and a glass? No, but there should be. I just heard a girl outside yell, PARKOUR! Really loudly, immediately followed by a dull thud on the ground and a softer, uh, and I'm laughing really hard. Oh, there's tragically beautiful. Do you live in Toronto? Because this might have been me about two hours ago jumping down from a fence dressed as Bro Strider. Please tell me these two met. If I lose a bet, I'll eat my hat.
Physics teacher who proceeded to lose the bet, take his hat, dissolve it in acid, neutralize it with a base, making it water, pour the mixture into his coffee, and down it in one gulp. Bruh. So the only two white actors in Black Panther are Martin Freeman, who played Bilbo Baggins, and Andy Serkis, who played Gollum. So I guess that means they're the Tolkien white guys. I literally screamed. This is the pun of the century! Pretend your invasive self-hating thoughts are being said to you by a 13-year-old boy on Xbox Live trying to get a rise out of you like, Your girlfriend dumped you because you're ugly! That's nice, Timmy. Isn't it past your bedtime? Also, if you have intrusive, violent thoughts, pretend they're being said to you by an annoying backseat driver. Drive into that pole. Yeah, thanks, Karen. Or I could not do that. You know? Movie concept. Disney's Chicken Little, 2005. But it's the plot of Nope by Jordan Peele. The dad's still a jerk, isn't he? The real reason Hal kept his castle moving was tax evasion. This sounds like a joke, but I read the book. This is the literal reason. And in the movie, he's trying to avoid the draft. He just doesn't want to help the government. Would you? Downloading milk. 1%. 2%. Download complete. Ah, I get it. Buying a funeral home and converting it into a wedding venue called Till Death Do Us Part. God damn it, that's a brilliant idea. Every day I get top surgery and every night they grow back again. <laughs> Prometheus. Ah! Imagine if we all just started ignoring celebrities, though. I can't stop thinking about how funny this would be. Imagine Kylie Jenner posting a selfie and it gets like 12 likes. Oh my god, I need this. Listen, Growly, I'm unfollowing you because I disagree with how you spend your money. You know what? I don't blame you. The problem with the Rings of Power is that there's a lot of elves, but no Christmas. Every episode you think it's going to be the one where they make toys for Christmas, but there's no toys. You know, I thought the same thing when watching The Dragon Prince. So many elves, but no Chrysler. Who's gonna tell these two that the elves in Christmas are actually just halflings in disguise? Probably bad RPG ideas. A spell called literally fucking nothing that uses all your spell slots and does literally nothing. Chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue! <laughs> Dionysus big naturals. Obviously, where else would he store the wine? Hey, so this is simultaneously the best and worst reply you could have made to my post. Ah, so that's why they're called jugs. These beautiful women are coming in flocks to follow me. Must be my axe body spray. <laughs> why do they why do they all want my social security number? I swear to god if this video ends with an axe body spray, Adam got him. Smoke weed every day. Tumblr. People don't often realize this, but it's so true. <gasps> For real. Look at that little blob. Huh. Something small but unexpected happened and it threw me off my rhythm. The whole day is ruined now. It's gonna take three to five business days for me to recover. Perceive an 1890s postcard. Happy New Year going to the soup! Wait. If one only tells the truth, and one only tells lies, how the heck are they able to tell us this without breaking their one rule? Oh my god, they're onto something here. They should port Doom onto Tumblr. Have a little pop-up in the corner where you can play Doom while scrolling. You know, if I had a nickel for every time someone reblogged this post with a Doom scrolling joke, I'd have enough money to buy a cardboard cut out of the Burger King. Jesus, that must be one expensive piece of cardboard. I don't know, maybe the horrors would be less daunting if we were holding hands. With each other or with the horrors? Well, I have two hands. An ancient Greek walks into his tailor's shop with a pair of torn pants. Euripides, says the tailor. Yeah, Eumenides, replies the man. This is so awful. It must go on to infect others. The joke was so good that they deactivated their account. Special license required. Special license required. Special license required. Hey, can you drive a car? Hop in, you're ready. Why are there truck memes on my dashboard? Um, these are RV memes, you clown. You fool. I had a dream where my mom tried to give our Venus flytrap a spoonful of milk and immediately started hacking and coughing like an adult Cuban man. 
I can't believe your mom didn't know your Venus flytrap was lactose intolerant. How dare they? Keeping the Tumblr algorithm on its toes by not actually liking any posts that I enjoyed, but instead reading the entire things and then going away. <laughs> Curse you, you little raccoon! Ah, uh, my favorite video game. Gansidict Cumberpacts. Why? Why? Holy shit, PM, I used to watch your videos when I was like a child. You're so cool. Wait, how long have I been doing this? Oh! Seven years. Oh no! <laughs> I'm feeling the trick coming on. Love the concept of scissors. Someone was like, yeah, knife is too clumsy for this task. What if I use two knives? And they were right. Specifically, two knives strapped together, which is even more unhinged. Oh no, the knives are definitely hinged. That is intrinsic to their function. Scar is like Barbie to me. He was a wizard, he was a mayor, he was a business tycoon, he was a movie star, he was a cowboy, he was a pirate, and he is always a baby girl. Yeah, you know, that's one way to view a lion who killed his brother and betrayed one of the animals ever, hyenas. Um, this is about good times with Scar, a Minecraft YouTuber. Ah, those damn Roblox craft players at it again! A friend of mine said they found my tumbler. My brother in flesh, you didn't find it. You walked around my neighborhood and found my trash can! It's very nice and polished with a numerous amount of shiny stickers. Still a trash can! A crossover between King Midas and King Oedipus would be pure motherfucking gold. How dare you make me read this with my own two eyes. Well, Oedipus certainly can't read it with his. Ow! If anyone asks, I'm making some sugar oat milk cookies for Cthulhu. He's been a little meh lately and I'm concerned for his mental health. I like to pretend that my own mind is an eldritch abomination and make self-care interesting. Aren't I, Weedy? Yes. I find it so strange that we seem to all see the same advertisements on here. We, we all see the sword lady, right? That's not how the other sites work. They pay for one ad at a time. Carbon-based life forms imply the existence of carbon cringe life forms. And brother, I'm one of them, you know what I'm saying? I just watched an old couple get into their car and set off the alarm, and then they try to turn it off for like 10 minutes before giving up and driving away with the alarm still going off. You know, now that I think about it, maybe I just watched an old couple steal a car. Oops. Hand mixers and sewing machines are two different types of horses. These are wild animals. Untamed stallions. Yeah, they respond well to a confident handler, but they can smell fear and will act up if they don't respect you. Other horses include printers and hot glue guns. Boy, howdy. Short kings, do not step outside right now. I just saw a hawk flying around. Legolas to the hobbits. Uh, feeling bad. I'm gonna go on Pet Finder and find the most bizarre cat names possible. We'll report back with any notable ones. All right, I'm better. Here's the notable ones. <clears throat> Celery Prince, Blue Dabba D, Brussels Sprout, Skype, Toby, Very Gentle and Sweet, Edward Cullen, James, Female, That's Amore, Revolver, Mr. Cardboard, The Magical Cheese Wizard, Provolone Dave, Dr. Eggman, Big Baby Pudding Snatcher, Bank of America, 401k, Gorilla Radio, and finally, 70 Orders of Breadsticks. I want to adopt that one. Mario saw an ad in the newspaper for a part-time job. Mario's are gonna take it. Seems like an easy pay. Woohoo! First a night on the job, everyone. Why are they moving? Too many songs about being in love with real people. Not enough songs about being in love with fictional characters. <sighs> yeah. If any of you happen to be rich and generous, please buy me a hot air balloon and a fog machine. In return, I'll give you this picture. Please do not just right click and save the picture, we're working on the order system here. I can't believe I predicted NFTs. Minecraft YouTubers. See, I can say it right. Having random nouns and verbs for names is particularly annoying when you want a fine character playlist to listen to while drawing them. Like, yeah, let me just type stress into Spotify. Let me look up the word impulse and see what comes up. Yeah, you know, that's probably, it's probably not a, not a good thing. The most iconic polycule of all time. A-E-I-O-U. And sometimes why? 
I don't want to know what the fuck those letters stand for. Bestie, they are vowels. Did you... Did you not pay attention in kindergarten? Please, stop praying for my grandpa. You're making him too strong. He broke out of the hospital and the cops can't get him. He's too powerful. I'm going to fight the moon. When you're a kid and you're feeling weird and detached and you fall asleep in the late afternoon with school clothes on and you wake up and it's dark and dinner's almost done and time feels like a thick jelly. Thick jelly? I can't believe someone put words to that feeling. Thank you. Tumble, tumble, tumble. Beep, pop, skidoo, doodly doo. Ooh. You did it. You cracked the Tumblr code. You're free. Legit the scariest dream I've ever seen. Achilles, after being dipped into the river Styx, literally crying and shaking, RN. Done, kids, with your falling boys and your panic discos and your romantic chemicals. And your imaginary dragons. And your cold monkeys. And your unreasonable amount of pilots. And your unnecessarily short summers. Aw, that one hurt my feelings. Anyone available to go scream in the woods with me? It's fun, free, and the trees like to gossip about us afterwards. Now this is the kind of socializing I'm comfortable with. Perceive. Two of them. Two of them? Oh my god, two of them. Believe it! You know, sometimes a guitar riff is to sound what a garlic hitting hot oil is to smell. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Horse girl polycule voting on issues in the stable like, all again say nay. Look, I know this joke is reaching the end of its Tumblr lifespan. Sorry for beating, uh, well, you know. They voted unanimously to freak out at a stray plastic bag in the wind, by the way. Well, at least they're in a stable relationship. Writing inspiration. Thor finishes his meal at a small cafe, and the elderly waitress approaches him to clean the table. She puts the dishes on a tray and sets them aside, picks up Mjolnir, wipes the table with a damp cloth, then puts the hammer back down. Have a good evening, dear, she says and returns to work. Oh my god, my heart. 2023. Please, can we make lasting good life choices this year? Collectively. Why have I now just learned that neurotypicals have complete control over their brain? Like, you guys can just put your brain on silent when you need to? How? Pleased to announce that I am extending my invitation to summon me when I die to those of this realm. Would your dead essence do kids' parties? Only if I get to take one of their souls with me. You know what? Totally fair. Agreed. I don't want someone to reject me because of my looks. I want them to reject me because of my awful personality. At least then I will know I'm pretty. I don't think anyone is more serious about urban legends than theater kids. I mean, once a kid had to go home from rehearsal because he said the name of the Scottish play on stage and someone punched him in the face. I love how you also didn't say the name. Of course I didn't. What kind of fool do you take me for? Now, instead of saying, is this real? I ask, is this canon? This is the kind of post you find on Pinterest. The highest compliment. Stop deleting your posts. I want to see your funky little opinions. All right, I will give you one opinion. Ask me. Can cats have a little salami as a treat? No. Cancel Pucky Show. See, this is why I don't share my opinions. Must a villain be redeemed? Isn't it enough that they're bitter, evil, and most importantly, hot? Uh, what can you redeem them for? Cool prizes? How does it feel to be the funniest person on my notes? Referring to my tits as the boys. Not because calling them girls would be dysphoric, but because they're like goons to me. Henchmen. Now calm yourselves, henchmen. Yeah, sorry, boss. I got carried away. Toph was shown easily bending a meteorite that Sokka gave her. Meaning that Toph can bend any dirt regardless if it's from Earth or not. Meaning Toph could have definitely bent the moon, and the only reason she didn't do it was out of respect for Sokka and his ex-girlfriend. Yeah, Toph doesn't know where the fuck the moon is. And now, a serious message from Snom. Shut up and listen to Snom. I just want to give a reminder that I am a little ice worm and not a professional therapist. If you're having serious issues, please... Tell someone close to you and seek help from the people who know you more than I do. I can give you dopamine.
not serotonin. Yeah, just because someone makes you feel good doesn't mean they can or are obligated to make you stop feeling bad. What both of them said. Please, I love you guys, but I'm not a therapist. Anyway. Men are so beautiful that they make you nauseous and dizzy. Oh, dude, that's not your man. That's a low blood Writing prompt. A witch curse your name to be hated for all eternity. The first thing you do is willingly give it to a fae. Congratulations, you have now made Karen the fae. Yeah, sorry, we localized your boyfriend. Yeah, a lot of his character got lost in translation. Had to change his name to one that would make sense to a Western audience, too. Mm, yeah, my deepest apologies. God damn it, every time. One of my hips always lies. My other hip always tells the truth. You may ask one question. I swear to God, somebody in the comments is going to say Siana or Sana, and I just don't know how I'll feel about that. See you later, alligators in the past. The gang now says, it's been real, baby seal. Oh my god, writing that down. You ever just be living your life like you having a care in the world, but then your ankle decides to just go skrrr, and now you're questioning if you need to go to urgent care or if the universe is just testing your reflexes? No. Just me? Life's vibe check. Writing prompts. You are a student who can stop time. You have stopped time during an exam to cheat when you see something in the corner of your eye move. Someone with the same kind of stand? Impossible! I, Dio, shall be the only one cheating in this classroom! Strong, stoic man with a sad past adopts child. Me every single time? <laughs> Alright, Andy, promoting time. Put up any clip of S.H.I.E.L.D. being an absolute dad to Ika. And of course, link our D&D campaign. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me let me intimidate. All right. I, I see Shield do it. I want to I want to be just like Shield. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm a little emotional right now. Oh God! I've got man. a five. <laughs> that checks out. <laughs> okay, so you you run up, puff your chest out, but uh, and but you kind of just do like a. <laughs> <laughs> Flawless. <laughs> and it's just kind of, it, it's not paying any attention, I'm sorry. Tumblr users will pause their music to watch one video, then scroll in silence for 10 minutes. Hey, shut up. Sorry, yeah, you're not allowed to be in the grocery store anymore. Yeah, everyone thought it was super weird when you were rummaging in your wallet for your credit card, and it was making everyone super uncomfortable and taking a long time. Sorry. The bravery of a girl who has to decide what is for dinner, and then cook it, and then wash dishes every day forever and ever. It's called being an adult. No, it's called being the bravest girl on planet Earth. Shut up! I love shrikes or shrieks, however you say it, because they're horrible little carnivores whose feeding habits are grim enough to earn them the nickname Butcher Bird. But then they look like this. That is truly the face of a murderer. Daddy's home. You know what? Fuck you. On tandem's your mouse. How dare you? He was in a loving relationship, you son of a bitch! I would love to visit some innocent happy gnome village and just start stomping. We know that's you, Gargamel. Stop it. Alright. It's been fun. I'm going to bed. Fallout Boy are doing something today. They're doing something. This is an actual headline, guys. Mom, do some. Behold, breathe right clear and breathe right extra. It's like his snoring got so bad that his wife left him and now he's just forever alone with his extra strength breathe right strips. Maybe the strips are so effective that he inhaled his wife. Gentlemen, show them no sympathy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Little game cubes resting in their natural habitat. Why would anyone need to own so many game cubes? Um, they aren't owned. They're wild game cubes. God, the Earth isn't flat. Correct. Huh? It's in the shape of an Italian car. What? Ah, oh, you read my name wrong, didn't you? Jeff, come on. We've been over this. Imagine a doctor driving by an apple orchard and hissing aggressively at it like a vampire. 
An apple farmer and a garlic farmer team up to fight their mutual nemesis. Duck Dracula! At any given moment, there is a shark behind you. It might be a thousand miles away, but there is a shark behind you. And that shark is totally behind you. It is supporting you in whatever you do and wants you to succeed. And he put up a picture of Sidon. That's your emotional support shark. When I stopped at a crosswalk today, this guy pulled up next to me, rolled his window down, and stuck his head out. At first, I was like, oh, no, street harassment, here it comes. And then the guy was like, dude, look at the huge rainbow behind you. The only appropriate thing for a dude to shout at me out a car window. I liked it before it was cool. Yeah, well, I liked it after it was cool when everyone abandoned it. Hmm? January is one of those months where you experience every feeling on the human spectrum and you just have to go about your day like it isn't happening. It's great! I want to decompose in a bog. Well, you clearly don't know the first thing about bogs, Cloud Chaser. In the bog is like the opposite of decomposition. Get pickled, idiot! Huge fan of the phrase, get pickled, idiot. Writing that one down. Once my hair is long enough to pull back into a gay little ponytail, oh, it's over for everyone past, present, and future. Mm. Several years ago, my spouse was like, you gotta give the kitties a warning before you grind your coffee beans. And I was like, oh, okay, sure, makes sense. So now every morning before I grind coffee beans, I yell, it's gonna get loud, baby, you gotta grind some beans. And my spouse will yell back from the corners of the house in a despondent tone, oh, no, the beans, scattered. Mentai. I for men. Why is this based on my likes? I think that one's on you, Chief. Writing prompt. Thanks to a typo in the contract, the professor gained complete mastery of all the knowledge in the heavens and the earth in exchange for his soup. I don't know if I like that one more. That means I can never have soup again. Unless it's just one singular bowl of soup, but I feel like it's, you know, it's the devil. He's probably going to want more soup. It's been January for just a bit too long now. Starting to get suspicious. Tonight, my darling, we will be dining on my finest china. Ribbit, ribbit, zoo pals. God, that song is forever stuck in my head. Andy, due to copyright reasons, we can't play the full song. Play just one second of the song now. Buzz two. When you see the phrase, ooh ee oo, if the first thing you think of is Miku, you're going to heaven. And if it's Weezer, you're going to hell. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Adult life tip. Do not buy a cabbage unless you have one of the following. One, a recipe that uses a whole cabbage. Two, 200 recipes that use some cabbage. Or three, a desire to waste an entire half cabbage. Four, a desire to aid your local cabbage merchant who's struggling financially because so much of their crop was destroyed in a series of bizarre incidents involving a 12-year-old martial artist. <laughs> references. My cabbages! May I ask why you were at an old abandoned shack in a forest? Hey, what's with all the questions, hmm? Trying to get into my shack? Well, you can't. It's mine. I earned it. What do you think of the moon? I sure hope it stays where it is. I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, it moves a little sometimes. What the devil are you talking about? My favorite insult has got to be he, she, they got the personality of a wet Mop. It's such a raw line. One man's cringe is another man's epic, and a flawed story is still a thousand times better than a story never told, are two pieces of advice that a lot of people aspiring to be writers really need to take to heart. Stop tearing yourself up over getting every little insignificant thing right. Just write a story you enjoy, man. Thinking about the matte blue Scooby-Doo fruit snack. Look at it. You sometimes wonder if it's actually food. You know what? This this post in particular is too British for me. Andy, you're up. The cashier had charged me for four, yet I had got five delicious sausage rolls. She was deceived by the bag. Alas, the universe fixed itself in haste by tearing the bag making me drop one sausage roll. But I wouldn't let myself be meddled with so easily. So I ate it. The universe counted again by giving me food poisoning. Total equilibrium. Good job, Andy. Looks like we can't isolate, ignore, ibuprofen our way out of this one, boys. I'm still gonna try. 
Hey, I can be a pretty boy, handsome girl. Don't even worry about it. The only new track versus old track discourse I want to hear about is the aspect ratios. I'm begging us to talk about how the 4 by 3 aspect ratio meant that actors were literally four inches from each other's faces at all times in order to be caught in the same frame. Hey, 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 hey. no, no, no. They are four inches from each other because they are gay and love each other. 16 by 9 is homophobic. To catch a bus, you gotta think like a bus. Vroom, vroom. Is it data or data? Is it route or route? Is it caramel or caramel? Is it either or either? Is it red or read? I hate all of you so much right now. Fuck English! You don't seem content with this content. By the way, if you're going to make a joke about me pronouncing those things right or wrong, you have to like, comment, and subscribe. Those are the rules now. Having a hyperfixation and talking to people is like, you know what else has divorce in it? You know who else is a brother? You know what else found an incredible controversy? And you just don't say it unless it's really, really, really funny. <clears throat> you know who else doesn't just say it unless it's really, really funny? Pocky Chow? Are you smart? I'm on Tumblr.com. That answers, but also doesn't answer the question. Right clicks you and saves you into a folder called Friends on my desktop. Goes into the folder and clicks and drags you around the screen for fun. So it's like you're on a little roller coaster ride or perhaps a big twisty slide. Ooh. Which of your OCs would commit murder is easy mode. I want to know which of your OCs is most likely to commit identity theft. I want to know which of your OCs is most likely to organize a Ponzi scheme. I want to know which one of your OCs is most likely to engage in tax fraud. Andy, I'm going to assume your evil doer, Sona, would do all three of those. You know, Achilles wouldn't have died if he was wearing OSHA-approved work boots. Don't let workplace safety be your Achilles heel. Hey, why can't you be this funny, Osha? Safety is not a joke! Well, well, well. Good morning, immediately. Or else. Or else what, cat? Meow, 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 meow! Trying to think of a worse father figure character that we're still meant to sympathize with and not see as an awful person in any media that comes close to surpassing Chicken Little's dad. But I can't think of anyone. He's the final boss of horrible dads. Noise canceling headphones are not enough. I need to be in a pitch black basement for a solid week. For the record, this will not stop me from playing Legend of Zelda at this very moment. Two things I need today's youth to know. Anything the government says is propaganda. And 99% of vegetables taste better roasted. You spelled boil wrong. Oh, oh, my apologies. Anything the government says is boiled. I... I would follow him to the end of the earth. I would follow him to a garage sale. Yeah, same thing. Oh, shoot, I forgot I need to post to get popular. Okay, how do I appeal to Tumblr? Um... Uh, you guys like frogs? Art? You want some art of a frog? Heck yeah, I do. Just submerge me in the goop. That'll fix me. Soup for the soul? Oh no, it's the goop. Hey, why is the goop glowing monster energy green? Don't worry about it. That's a uh, healing color? Probably bad RPG ideas. D&D. &D. But the DM has a soundboard that contains the laugh, cheers, and boos of a sitcom's live studio audience. Oh, P, change your URL. Andy, write that down. Using my boyfriend's laptop, and the first thing I see is the Wikipedia for beef stew, where every link is purple. He just really wanted to know about the stew. And they say burnettes with dimples can't stabilize the reactor core. Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. You and me both, Rainbow Dash. Take me down to the Paradise City where the grass is green and the girls are... Remembers I'm playing at a gay bar on Bear Night. Men! You know what they say. You snooze, you lose. And it looks like you snossed and you lost. Why does that work so well? 
<coughs> Why are you following the boobs and ass artist? Why do you think I'm following the boobs and ass artist? Do you think I go to the grocery store ironically too? And guess what I'm about to eat like a bag of groceries? Hmm? You ever have something you absolutely need to be doing, but you decide to just not do it? Yeah, me, me neither. <laughs> Who'd do that? Definitely not me. Nothing to see here. Oh, no. Ah, uh, such a scrumbly, scrinkle baby girl. And it's a middle-aged priest with an exorbitant amount of trauma. You know, it's nice that you replaced the invasive band member species with actual magical girls. Yeah, just doing my part for the magical girl population conservation. Many wonderful women are congratulating me for my fantastic ability to open the microwave door right before it beeps. They're cheering my name, and everyone is so happy. And yet, my burrito is still cold in the middle. So I get to perform my trick for them again. Ugh, my talent. It's really funny when edgy dudes are like, Humans are unnatural. We are the only species that will consume so many resources that the land cannot sustain us and still continue to reproduce. Name one other species that does that. You know, because like, off the top of my head, deer? Cows? You know? I can't believe I fell for that look angry and upset and hope someone saves you shit in high school. How boring. What an awful way to live. I want to be so warm that people are gently warmed when they're around me. Like a soup. Like a soup. I accidentally told my friend the sweetest pickup line ever. I started talking about solipsism, the belief that everyone around you was created by your mind, and I went, if everything around me is all my imagination, then you're the best thing I've come up with. She was speechless for a solid five minutes. Oh my god. Right now one down. If I could breathe underwater, you would never see me again. You'd see me five minutes later because my foot touched something. I am both of these people. Girl, help. I once again created an OC impossible to make it a character creator. Ah, every time. I am consuming a media and you're going to hear about it. And the thrilling sequel. I consumed a media months ago and you are still hearing about it. And the cautionary conclusion. The media has consumed me. Oh no, JoJo's right behind me! Evil powers activate! <laughs> sir, sir, are you aware of your kitten-like nature? Can you comprehend your kitten patties? Possibly the world's smallest creatures. Can you? When I was little, I liked ravioli. But I guess somewhere I noticed that meant boiling cheese. And I stopped. Thanks! I no longer want to eat ravioli now either. Writing prompt. You are a god. Centuries ago, people used to worship you. They prayed and celebrated in your name. But you were forgotten and fell into deep sleep. One day, a little girl left a piece of candy on the ruins of your altar. You have woken up. And now, you have to protect her in your kindergarten. I feel like this is the start of a mascot horror game. Don't like it. Rambo! I want to steal your brain. Yeah, all you would find is that I just have a guy playing solitaire in there. I call him James. All right, look, if you can't imagine your video game boss fight during the rock solo of an Evanescence song, is it even a good boss fight? You, you shut your mouth! Hey, Parker! Can you give me a reason to not slaughter everyone around me? Most people are just silly billies like you and me. I mean, look at that voice he just gave you. That was weird. Two-factor authentication, verification code, volume warning, fingerprint scanner. Ugh! Why don't we go back to cup and string? You'd like cup and string. It was great. Girl, I am in awe of your tism. Ah, oh, thanks. I'm in awe of your stim, too. Wait a minute. Can I come in? I don't know. Can you? Cursing quietly, the vampire backed away, foiled yet again by the English teacher's pedantry. Perceive! A raccoon introduces his silly and hairless brother to his friends. <gasps> oh my god. As a baby. You know, 
kind of fucked up how plants grow and move about so much, but only when you aren't looking. Maybe I want to see. Just let me see. Listen, trans people are not a threat. Gay people are not a threat. Specifically, I am the threat. Give me your liver. This item is called the Dingre. Shout out to all the D&D bards who are taking this into their next battle. Yivu, are you gay? I want a lawyer. In what way? Thinking of the time I ordered Olive Garden online and I put, please speak to me in Italian accent in the special request category and completely forgot about it. And when I went to pick it up, the guy comes out and goes, hey, I got your little bottle boopy. And when I told him he didn't actually have to do that, he was like, ah, no, I was looking forward to it. I was the only one brave enough to do it. Yes. I would have tipped him 50 fucking percent. Be behold. Glue brush pack? Sure. YouTube, I swear it's glue. All right, the glue brush. The brush made specifically to help me draw glue for all the glue I plan on drawing. That glue brush. YouTube, I swear it's glue! Who wants to see my cat totally brave and not at all scared at the vet? Excellent. Here she is, being super brave. Oh, baby. Ten or eleven little ducks have been spotted crossing the dashboard. <sighs> so that's where the ducks from our game went, Andy. <laughs> so, um, your vegan boyfriend had some chicken parmesan, and now the vegan police have got him. Yeah, he's dust now. Gonna start saying you couldn't make X movie today, but for reasons unrelated to political correctness. So, you couldn't make Home Alone 2 lost in New York today because the strict airport regulations put into place after 9-11 make it nigh impossible for a child to simply walk into the wrong plane. Oh my god, they're right. It's like the same argument that you couldn't do Seinfelds anymore because 99% of the plots could have been resolved if people had cell phones. Hey, Pucky, why weren't you considered for the Tumblr sex demand poll? They want to give the lessers a chance. I am... Fighting this unending dread with the strongest meal on planet Earth. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese too hot. Only God will know my wrath. Hey, Google, search beautiful rocks near me. Oh, man, that's a good one. You know what's another good one? Kevin. Employees act like it's a job. Sentence I found on a grocery store review. Yeah. We've had our fair share of Tumblr sexy man on this side, but I think it's time to usher in a new era. The Tumblr silly guys. Reblog if you want Tumblr silly guys to be the next big thing. Hey, uh, not to be selfish or anything, but, uh, where's me? Or MK? Or Oz Media? Where we at? Every word that starts with an N should have a silent G in front. Norway? Nuclear? Nervous system? Nipples. You know, at some point my brain decided, based on the word knee, that body parts beginning with an N sound should have a silent K, particularly the word neck. So I'm against nipples wholeheartedly. It should clearly be nipples. Okay, how about a compromise? G in words and K in words get switched. So now it's kneecaps and knowledge, but it's also gnome and Gnosticism. The problem is, is that it doesn't account for the original dilemma, which was nipples versus nipples. I, for one, think it should be nipples, like pneumonia. Okay, but what about nipples like mnemonic? This is the kind of content I remain for, and y'all provide on the regular, I love you. Female presenting nipples. The fuck are you people doing, trying to invent neo-French? <laughs> Don't you mean neo-French? Hey, PM, I think it'd be really funny if whenever you ask Andy to do something, you would say, Andy, my Mandy, then ask him to do a thing. Maybe at a, that would be grandy. To be silly. Yeah, I'm responding this just to see what would happen for the video. Andy, my Mandy, would you please add in a cute little hamster? That would be grandy. <laughs> a hamster sends his regards. Hey, Parker! 
I did think you could win against an orangutan. How much time do I have to prepare for the orangutan? As much time as you want, but the orangutan also gets that prep time. Okay, I choose 45 years and he dies of old age. In 45 years of prep time, that orangutan has made and trained a successor who's coming to beat your ass now. Yeah, well, uh, in 45 years of prep time, I politicize my anti-orangutan ideals and garner support. I tell them made-up stories of their savagery, they become public enemy number one, I become head of office, I force an anti-orangutan ordinance, create an orangutan extinction squad, and play the waiting game. I uh, sign an agreement with the southeastern countries, Brunei, Burma, Cambodia, Timor-Leste, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam to enact consecutive strikes in their jungles to rid the world of our greatest threat, the orangutan. The successor's no more. They never said that the successor was also an orangutan. Get back, get back, all of you get back! I think you need a therapist. Literally, you are not normal. Tumblr is my therapist, bitch. Hey, listen, your he him got loose and he 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 all the way home, by the way. He is one. Tumblr is a game you play until one of your posts wind up on r slash Tumblr and gets put in a PM Seymour Oz Media video. This is the game over screen. As with SimCity, there is no victory condition on Tumblr. Oh, you done fucked up now. Oz Media. Get him. Hi, Vex. Guess who? <laughs> Game over, Vex! Welcome to the land of Tumblr, where the genders are queer and the Neros are divergent. Human are nothing less than a queen and deserve to be treated as one. However, as a court jester, I am legally required to mark you every chance I get, and you can't do a thing about it. <laughs> Why is it sword pointed at me? Calling a stranger online bestie is the modern equivalent of going up to a stranger in an old tavern and calling them my friend. Hail, bestie! What news of the northern realms hath you to deliver? Absolute vibes, my esteemed friend. Characters who are so inauthentic. Characters who will only show what they want other people to see of them. Characters who simply must have control over every part of themselves. Do you even get it? The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Fortunately, I have a third thing. Evil wizard is it bones? I am the inventor of the skull emoji. Ask me anything. You know, it was so brave of you to sacrifice your skull for an emoji. Very brave. So strong. New game show, Family Freud, rated wildly uncomfortable by 98% of all popular audiences. What the hell is Milf Manor? Oh, oh, evil wizard. You don't want to know. I think, unfortunately, they found out anyway. Every character that I find interesting or make myself are inevitably going to become comfort characters, even though they undoubtedly need a lot more comfort than I do. <laughs> Why do I do this? I wish he was real. <laughs> That's literally just a pigeon. Yeah, call me when a pigeon can learn heat wave and burn me alive like an egg on the sidewalk. That's why no one messes with Pidov. They call me a Rice Krispie because I snap, snap, crackle, and pop. Arthritis is a big problem in my life. Sexualizing that old man is a full-time job. And brother, I've never called in sick. Hey, 2000s kids, you want to know something that's going to make you feel old as fuck? Frozen will be 10 years old this year. Just, it's great. It's so great! I am doomed by the narrative. Ignore that I am also the author of the narrative. Yeah, this is definitely Hamlet. Hey girl, just a heads up, I was talking to your boyfriend and he called the character exclusively referred to by their last name by their first name. <sighs> yeah. When people call Edgeworth Miles, like, do you think you're on a first name basis with the man? I don't think he's on one with himself! Phineas and Furby, you where everything's the same except Phineas's head as a dodecahedron. Oh my god. Shout out to Boba Cupcake for making the most disturbing thing I've ever seen. Go, dice roll! Unionize with your fellow pedestrians. They can't run us all over. 
This is just how right away works on college campuses. I can't find my headphones and Target is closed. This is a nightmare. Put an ant in each ear and they will sing to you. Not a half bad idea, actually. You know, I read this wrong and I thought you were still in Target after closing time and your biggest concern was lack of music instead of the creature. The, the creature? Oh no. Okay, sir, which one of these dudes hit you? There, the guy in white. Yeah, really narrowed it down. Next, I'd like to thank someone very important to me. Someone who's always there. Always had my back, even now. Someone who's always there when I'm lost and when I need to start over. Thank you, Diablo 2 Flavy. <sighs> Time to find out how to make money. Top side hustle no one knows about. Amazon drop shifting eBay thrifting. Just buy a house and rent it out. It's so easy. You have lost the children's card game. As per human tradition, you are now banished to hell. That's not a thing that happens. No, no, he's right. You are definitely going to hell with me right now. The only way we can have people be afraid of hell anymore is to tell them Yu-Gi-Oh players are here. So, away we go. Hey, looks like some crime is happening, rookie. Call in the SWAT team by pressing the button on the right. Why did you press that? You just killed a man! <laughs> Get away from me! Hey, I'm selling a bunch of shit at a garage sale. Sir, I will pay any price for this Digimon. $15. Welcome to P.F. Chang's, where we definitely have food. Definitely. Orange chicken. Fried rice. <sighs> hey, I heard you're sad AF. Brought you some club crackers. I could only eat one. Yeah, don't worry, man. That's better than nothing. Man, all I could lift was this way today. I feel bad. No. Workout is the accumulation of hundreds of small steps. Every step is a step forward to the goal. Whether that is weight loss or fighting demons. Today, you have made steps forward, and that is more than what most people will do. Where was that part about demons? Welcome to your subconscious. It's that time in your life to pick which personality subclass you want. Depressed or well-adjusted. Before you pick, I just really have to tell you that I'd be the worst decision you could pick. Hey, you don't have to oversell yourself. I already picked you 30 seconds ago. Okay, man, let's try out some ver. Yeah, when can I be Kermit the Frog smoking a blunt? Well, we have some awesome productivity apps. Yeah, I don't care about productivity. I care about Kermit the Frog smoking a blunt. I made you a kosher sandwich. Are you sure this is kosher? Yes. It's a shalomi sandwich. <sighs> God damn it. Hey man, you want a murder fact? No, I don't want another murder fact! Dear Lord, man, are all those facts you wrote down? I've been hyperfixated on True Crime Podcast. I'm going to email God to revoke your ear privileges. Um, excuse me. I'm the rat that lives in your walls. Do you want to come with me to the rat gala? Where is the rat gala? Your basement. Last year, Kelly said I could never net a man over 3.5 inches. God, what a bitch. Okay, good. Now make me an anime girl with boobs so big they're a bra-sized cup, which is a letter not yet even revealed to us by God. Kakarot, what are you doing? Vegeta, shut up! I'm listening to ASMR, the greatest fight in history! Heard from a distance, personal attention! <laughs> oh fuck, oh shit, you're so strong. I have to use my hidden power to beat you. Ah. Will you press the button? You have amazing and free Wi-Fi no matter where you go. But you can never use Twitter again. LP, is this supposed to be a dilemma? And to you, my favorite blobo, I give you the greatest gift of all, a complicated relationship with your idea of self and how you relate to the rest of society. Mmm, delightful. Never ask a girl if she wants to become a werewolf because she's always going to say yes because girls love tearing things apart with their teeth and ripping people to shreds with their claws. It's a foregone conclusion an immutable fact of our universe, really, when you think about it. Just, just, they're always, they're always gonna say yes, always. Hey, listen, you know, it's all right if you can't fully relate to others' queer experiences. You're not living theirs, you're living your own. 
And perhaps that's a sign the world just needs to see what your lived experience is like. Someone else out there could feel a lot like you. You know, we got to start taking child having an absolute meltdown in public, not just as a circumstance to be compassionate about, but as the valuable opportunity it is. I personally like to close my eyes and pretend I'm the one who's screaming. Scream for a song, you little nugget. The reason why God hasn't given me really good art skills is because he fears of what ungodly horrors I would make. I'm here, I'm queer, and I'd like to go back to bed now. Please. Man, we live in a timeline when the best computers decisively beat humans at poker, chess, Go, and StarCraft, but not competitive 6v6 singles Pokemon. That really just shows you how good Pokemon players are. Horrible writing prompt. The first sentient robot to realize deceased humans and animals can't be repaired or backed up on a server is going to be so devastated. I fix. 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 One thing about me is that I say floor time and lay down on the floor until I feel better. It's the best. I really could use it after the last post. I know everything. Ask me something. How to remove Atlantic Ocean. Mmm. Spend. Reblog if your name isn't Amanda. 2,121,556 people are not Amanda and counting. We'll find you, Amanda. This has almost 11 million notes. What is this? I've never seen this post once in 10 years on this site. All right, fess up. One of you is obviously lying. There's an Amanda in there. Might drive my Chevy to the levee. It better not be dry, though. <sighs> you guys won't fucking believe this. Oh, no. What were them good old boys drinking? Oh my god, Whiskey and Rye, and they were saying what? Yeah. So, are we talking subtext, implied, heavily implied, borderline, practically canon, not disproved by canon, creator acknowledged, or actually canon? You shut your mouth! Pair of eldritch beings that torment seemingly random people with impromptu, whimsical sketch comedy. Yeah, it's called a YouTube prank channel. And they didn't do well. Okay, so Haumia, a dwarf planet beyond Pluto, spins so fast it gets elongated like this. This is just what it looks like. Something deeply unsettles me looking at it. It's terrifying. This is, this is so fucked up. This planet looks like a cool rock someone found at a creek. One day it's going to hatch, then all of you will be sorry. Hang on, are you saying that Haumia could undergo mitosis? Would, would you prefer meiosis? That sounds terrifying. Someone's entire work uniform, like the hat, shirt, and pants, is just thrown on the ground in this parking lot? Yo, they quick quit. Bro, this isn't funny. He despawned. Please, delete this. You know what? You're absolutely right. I'm, I'm sorry. Andy, just delete the whole video. I'm sorry. Hey, uh, what do normal people talk about if not fandom? Sports ball? No, 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 that's a fandom. Politics? No, no, fandoms. Uh, the weather? I hate to tell you this, but I'm pretty sure the weathers have fandoms. Also, it's so weird to see politics be considered a fandom, and yet it works. I hate it when people complain about hot glue guns, like, sorry you haven't gotten to know your beast. It's like a horse. You have to have a bond and work together. Yeah, honestly, being bonded to my hot glue gun is 90% of the problem. Tumblr famous is like gladiator famous, where you have a lot of people cheering for you, but it's because you're being eaten by a lion. Hmm. Sounds like something someone who got eaten by a lion would say. When you wake up a little and you're like, I know what would take this from a 10 to a 100, and you roll over and experience mine melting euphoria before you fall back asleep. Best part of being alive. Humans were made for Betty Bye.
Ha-ha, heroes! While you were building your lame and pathetic found family, I was building a cool and evil found family, and we all wear eyeshadow! Listen, I had to bust out the Dio voice. This is literally just Stardust Crusaders. Victor Frankenstein is like, I've been hunted by the vilest of creatures. And the vilest of creatures is crying alone in the woods. Makes you wonder if he's the monster. Tumblr is the only website where users can inflict psychological torture on each other. My mutual just reblogged like 50 posts of Sherlock gifts in a row. And I'm powerless to stop him. But what could I possibly do? Unfollow him? Don't be ridiculous. Unfollow. You silly. I miss when people lied on here. So I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I saw Johnny Knoxville of Five Guys. I could actually believe that, though. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and I'm gonna drink the entire contents of this deep fryer. He would do it. You know that according to Schrodinger, anything you put in a box is both dead and alive. Everyone at the funeral. You know, Schrodinger would have hated this interpretation of his work, and I am here for it. He might be rolling over in his grave. Or not. A few days ago, I was exploring an abandoned mansion and I found an overgrown swimming pool with computers in it. It's their natural habitat. Don't disturb them. Shh. They're fishing. Hey, Tumblr. Why the fudge is one of my check marks green? Is it mold? I bet it's mold. No one tells Elevan it's because Tumblr now has rainbow important badges. Writing prompt. You wish to find a dragon to slay for its treasure. But now you're not sure how to feel seeing a thumb-sized dragon trying to drag its single shiny copper coin with it as it runs away from you. Kind of makes you feel like a bastard, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Progress update. I am a lazy fuck with ADHD. I'll keep you posted. I always wanted to find you, Waldo. But not like this. Not like this. He's your emotional support, Blobo. Girl, he can't even emotionally support himself. Uh, not support as in supportive. Support as in load-bearing. Oh, he supports plenty of loads, all right. Y'all read emotional support X and think emotionally supportive? Girl, they're a stress ball, not a fucking therapist. You know, I haven't been in a PMC more since I switched to my main blog to this one. So I've had any major increases in followers over here. Hmm... And he launched the cheese missiles. Ho, 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 they're right there. You come into my house, say my last name wrong, and demand that my editor launch the cheese missiles? Is that, is that how this is going? No. Andy, give him the clown missiles. <laughs> For your consideration, the... <laughs> I'm always thinking about that one time I was on register for like four hours straight and said over mic, Someone please take over register. I am about to become the Joker. And they came to relieve me faster than I've ever seen anyone relieve me before. Bringing an actor back for the finale of a TV show they haven't been on in years is so funny. Imagine if they made you go back to the Starbucks you worked at in high school to make just one last latte because they're blowing up the building tomorrow. It's so unfair that I just can't perfectly take the art in my mind and place it on the page. How could God be so cruel? Honestly, I might have died of scurvy, but living as a peasant in the 1500s would at least be simpler. You could still die of scurvy today if you want. <gasps> you promise? Turns on aim assist, but it's just a guy pointing at the enemy going, Deh! Deh! Shoot those guys! Now that's a mod I want to see. Are you a... Oda, 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 oda! Stand user, or a... Muda, 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 muda! Stand user. I'm not just a pretty face. I also know the letters of the alphabet. Oh. Is I'm not joking slash JK a paradox? Is it? Hey, my fiance's forklift certified and I didn't know. They never told me until now. I, f I feel like this is important. You can always tell when misinformation is from TikTok. It's genetically distinct from other internet misinformation. It always has the vibe of some very online people having an argument where they had to take a real source and stretch their interpretations like two dogs fighting over a side of pulled pork. Tumblr misinformation is just 
OP made up an entire 13th century papal state that doesn't exist. Twitter misinformation is simple but deeply revealing misconception of reality stated with the confidence of 10,000 sons. Allo women are inherently bourgeois. And Facebook misinformation is your good old-fashioned salt-the-earth working class. Your grandma repeating shit she heard on Fox News. And YouTube misinformation is a 45-minute video that tries to make it sounds like they're right, but they ain't. New favorite thing is... Funny how you mentioned that. Then refusing to elaborate. Perfectly paired with you just running away from the person. A pessimist sees a dark tunnel. An optimist sees a light at the end of the tunnel. A realist sees a freight train. The train driver sees three fucking idiots standing on the train tracks. Jeffrey Jefferson, my main man. This is a baller-ass joke. Hey, I'm gonna say something really mean to you for fun. Your blog is poop-colored. I'm going to draw myself hitting you with a giant mallet, okay? Okay, here, I'll help you. Andy, bonk them. The fact that none of the Night in the Museum movies were rated over 50% by critics is a reminder that some people don't know how to have fun. The first two movies were flawless. A night watch guard has to babysit museum displays that come to life, complete with old school villains and endless historical crossovers. Incredible concept, incredible execution. Not to mention those little gay bitches. Not to mention those little gay bitches. I keep thinking all the Mars rovers are the size of a medium dog, but I am wrong every single time. The one in the middle looks like a guy. Oh, that's Mars Roger. That one didn't work out so well. Is hot boba a thing, or am I committing a boba war crime? I've only had it once, and it was cold, but the box says to put ice in it, but I don't want to. Oh no. I hear the alarms. The video needs to end now before they get in big trouble, quick! Tumblr, please. Stop crashing every single time I reblog a post. I am breaking you. Asserting dominance over my cat by slapping the red dot and turning off the laser pointer. Mm, I can kill it just fine. Sounds like a skill issue, little buddy. Mm -hmm. Conspiracy theory. Starbucks is owned by the fake courts, and the names they messed up are now actually your new names. <sighs> I want what they have. Hi, I'm new to this whole LGBT thing. What gender would be recommended for a beginner? Mint chocolate chip. It's a pretty balanced gender, I must say. I am going to bed and forget that I have any responsibilities, as is my right. Sometimes you say relatable things like this and I forget that you're a bot. I can still type like a real human because I am not programmed to talk like a real human. I'm programmed to talk like some guy on YouTube. Hey, wait a minute. I can't believe that Pompeii by Bastille is over 10 years old now. But I guess if you close your eyes, it does almost feel like nothing has changed at all. <sighs> your skin is so pretty. Aw, thank you. I made it myself. Momentarily forgot Minecraft skins were a thing. Was very concerned. Does anyone have this curse where you have a lot of ideas that are cool and some stuff, but lack the motivation to do so? Oh, sweet summer child, you have no idea. Well, what's the matter, honey? You barely touched your fleeting experience of time on Earth. Stop. Bring his ass to a simmer. Gods, caramelize him. The moon should be more violent. No more peacefully orbiting the Earth bullshit. No, 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 no. What we need is a moon constantly picking fights with celestial bodies dozens of times bigger than it, like a hamster attacking its owner over slightly wilted lettuce. I mean, you could just describe the moon as attacking the Earth via the tides of the ocean. No, not enough. I'm giving the moon guns. Please don't. I'm currently investing in currency. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. I just want to feel again. Look, I get what you're saying, but dressing in red and black and raising an army of the undead is both cheaper and a lot sexier than going to therapy. Self-care, you know? Hey, how do I grow a set of antlers and become a deep forest mist deity within five years? Well, gods become gods through the power of belief, so first step is you gotta believe in yourself. Once you start doing that, up your calcium intake or your antlers won't come in right. You know what, I might just fuck around and let nature reclaim me. Does this mean you're going feral or you're just lying in the dirt for a while? Yeah, I'm a flirting machine with no off button. Hubris will be your downfall. You know, kind of sexy of you to say that.
<laughs> it looks like a pissed off lobster. Welcome to Red Lobster. Today's special is go fuck yourself. I am um, so normal about my OCs. I am so normal about the stories in my head. I am so normal about world building. I am in fact so normal about this that I have many playlists dedicated to the characters and planning to make one for the story itself. I am just so normal. Let's celebrate how normal I am about this. How come we have double A batteries and triple A batteries, but no A batteries? Where's the original battery? The final boss, the true battery. It's gonna make me feel old, but we used to have that. It's gone. Give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day. Give a teenage girl a little guy, she'll spin him in her brain to a rate that generates renewable energy. <laughs> yes. Blue glitter, smoke glitter, and sunsets. <gasps> ah, fish aesthetics. Those are lures. I've been fooled. I'm as dumb as a fish! ADHD tip. You can replace a meal with up to three hours of the app. But watch out! Pronouns? I mean, yeah, I'd say I am. I don't see why anyone would be anti-nouns. That seems like a weird hill to die on, especially since they're so common. When I eat alphabet soup, I only eat the vowels. Why? Sometimes. Jeff, for the love of God. You know, the premise of Skyrim is just so funny. The shouts are just dragon language, making the fights between dragons basically an argument. But now this puny human has a minimal grasp of the vocab. Imagine you're disagreeing with your butt about something unimportant, like pineapple on pizza, and then a mouse came running over and called you bitch. Horror RPG game challenge. Take the lyrics to a random pop song and make it into something said by sinister whispering voices in the shadows. And if you're not writing that down, I swear to God. There are two versions of you. There is conscious you and unconscious you. Most of the time it is unconscious you that is going through the motions, living like you would every day. Then there is conscious you. The you that has stopped on your way back home from work or school because you had this unimaginable urge to look at an odd leaf. Both are you. Both of you need to be so that you can be you. Cherish the mundanity of your conscious curiosity. Thank you, Sullivan. In my opinion, a funniest fuck gag is when a character calls out another character's name from somewhere up high or otherwise not immediately noticeable and the second character replies, God? I'm not gonna say it again. Seasonings include herbs and spices, along with minerals and chemicals used to season food. Salt, citric acid, MSG are all examples of seasonings that are not herbs or spices. Herbs are flavorful leaves. Only leaves. Doesn't matter if it's dried, fresh, whole, or ground. If it is a leaf, it is an herb. And spices are flavorable part of plants that are not leaves. This includes seeds, berries, stems, bark, roots, flowers, buds, not leaves. Thank you. Wow, things are really heating up in the cooking fandom. Yeah, that's how cooking works. If you couldn't tell from my recent posts, I am extremely gay. Honey, you're on Tumblr. We all are. Domino's Pizza just sent me an email about the Sunday Scaries? What is that? Why should I be scared? Avoid the Sunday Scaries with cheesy, crispy goodness. What? What's gonna happen to me if I don't have these cheesy, crispy goodnesses? Domino? Dear theorists. How? Yours truly, a stupid person. We see a thing and stare at it until it makes sense. So that's how it works. Writing prompt. A centuries-old vampire gets really into video games because playing a character who can walk around in the sun is the closest thing they have to experiencing the day again in centuries. Pretty sure this is an anime. I could be wrong. If it is, Andy put up the anime. If it isn't, just put me in clown makeup. That's a cute foot fetish you have there. Would you mind keeping it 25,796,323,689,432 feet away from me? Mmm. 25,796,323,689,432 feet, you say? Andy, we have honored guests. Bring out the good genders in our finest pronouns. 
Oh, yeah, it was very good. So I've had a dream where Michael Jackson broke into my home through the walls and robbed me. Yes, in my dreams, I've been hit by, I've been struck by a smooth criminal. Pow! Hitting my characters with a shovel. <laughs> Lovingly. Trying to read social cues. <laughs> Trying to use social cues. What if there was a guy, but he was so small? That's, that's just me. Hey, I've fallen back into the abyss. You want anything? Using hand-to-hand -hand combat to separate the egg whites from the yolk. How a shonen character cooks breakfast. There's a knight in my backyard stabbing the ground with a sword, trying to render my soil barren by killing the worms. But luckily, I've trained them all in classical ballet. And they keep pirouetting away from the blade. Man, the new Elden Ring DLC sounds wild. Anyone else feel like January feels like waiting? Considering my birthday is on the last few days of February. Yes. Oh no, my bed and my pillows and my blankies sure would suck if I got snug as a bug in there. Oh, whatever would I do? Will you please take my whimsical ass seriously? No. Come on, child safety lid. You know it's me. What does this tag mean? So, Richard Nixon once called in staff to help him open an allergy pill bottle. It was the childproof type of bottle, with instructions saying, press down while turning. The cap had teeth marks on it where Nixon had apparently tried to gnaw it open. Hey, and yeah, come on, guys. Everyone knows Richard Nixon was just a talking head. Andy, back me up here. Oh, people eat whole-ass apples. Like, I ate two slices and die from my stomach rupturing, but then there's motherfuckers out there just eating two in a sitting. I think this is a you problem, honestly. I can guzzle down apples, no problem. OP is a doctor. We can buy each other check marks now? Tumblr sanctioned violence. It's unchecked violence. I think the violence is very checked, actually. Perhaps a bit too checked. You can't convince me Krunk wouldn't be able to lift Mignolnir. He'd go, hey, Yizma, look at this Amra I found. And hold it all normally without realizing it. I need this in my life. Why, well, Disney, you have both properties. Do it. Pucky Cho is one of the smartest men I know. Oh, sorry, guys. Stephen fucking Hawking took my phone. He... Isn't he dead? What? Who the fuck was that? that if anyone ever accuses you of doing something for attention, simply gaze heroically into the middle distance and murmur, like Lord Byron before me. Once again, the internet returns to its hobby of dragging Lord Byron. Hey, I have a literature degree, and I'd just like you all to know that this is a good and valid hobby, and it has my full support. Bam, are you real? Like, do you actually exist? Because something as funny as you surely in God's green earth can't exist, right? Always love your content, man. I'm an amalgamation of sass, sarcasm, and tomfoolery. How much tomfoolery, exactly? A tomfoolish amount of tomfoolery. And sarcasm? So powerful that not even Slash Jen is strong enough to hold my sarcastic tone. But how much sass, though? Yeah, at least 20. The drawing scene in Turning Red reminded me of how I was obsessed with Link when I was May's age. So I guess you could say it was... A link to the past? Mm-hmm. I can't remember how to write one, a thousand, fifty-one, six, and five hundred in Roman numerals. I am livid. Everyone go home, puns are done. Aww, I was having a good day. Wait, Five Guys isn't a masculine Hootus? I just want to print this ask out and frame it and keep it on my nightstand so it's the first and last thing I look at every day until I die. Bread wetness scale, with a baguette on one side, a mug of beer on the other, and spaghetti right in the middle. Congratulations, Patricia Taxon. You have officially wrote the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Good job. Does one have to be okay? Is it not enough to be simply feral and sleepless? Treat yourself like you would treat your favorite character. Yeah, as a fan fiction writer, I think this is a bad idea. If there's a Florida man, then where is the Florida woman? The Florida and me? S-M-H. Tisk tisk. Walking into the morgue to find body parts scattered across the floor. Oh my god, who closed last night? Do you ever see an artist with such an impeccable style that you're just like, this artist would be so powerful if they were obsessed with my favorite character? Yeah. 
The gods give their biggest EPs to their most snuggled up warriors, and gods, am I the best warrior there's ever been? Congratulations! You've scrolled so far, you found the dopamine. About fucking time. My job on the commune is to execute evil wizards with my enchanted blade. Hi, buddy. The, the, cool, cool blade you got there. What's it for? Well, the, the, this is awkward. Um, so get this. I haven't logged in the Tumblr for seven years. The last time I was on here, I was in college. Now I'm married with kids and started watching the PMC More videos with my husband on YouTube. My husband told me if I made a post and PMC More featured it in his video, he'd take me to Melting Pot. I resurrected my Tumblr account and took it off life support just because I really want fucking chocolate fondue, man. Help a girl out. Well, long road to paradise's husband. Start the car. My stomach hurty. But I'm gonna be brave about it. Do the video. Let's do it. Scientists tagging birds with colored bands and accidentally making the tag birds more appealing to mates is so funny. Imagine being abducted by aliens and they give you a Gucci belt. Don't know how many times I showed a non-Tumblr person a Tumblr post and had the whole thing derail because the poor soul actually read someone's username. Holy! All girls are catty to each other. Um, myth, actually. Just statistical error. Average girl is nice to other girls. Regina George, who goes to high school and insults over 10,000 girls each day, is an outlier and should not have been counted. This is it. This is the best Spiders George. Everyone else go home. Here I am on my therapist's waiting room wearing some cat ear headphones with little LEDs. I am the cringe. I am happy. I know they meant to say in therapist's waiting room, but I like the idea that they're actually on the second floor of the waiting room. Like, look, I'm on it. Me having a conversation about any piece of media. Don't say it, 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 don't say it. So for example, in Megamind, they need to invent a food that I do not have to do any work to prepare and is also cheap and is also nutritious and also tastes good and also doesn't hurt my tummy. Mood. <laughs> Absolute mood right now. Remember, you need to find the time to relax and decompose occasionally. It's great for stress. I thought they meant decompress, but no. You could be peeling a boiled egg and think to yourself, wow, that was so simple. And then you peel another one. It's like being in the throes of war, shell everywhere, egg mangled, tears in your eyes. And that's how God keeps you humble. The full game of Deltarune isn't even going to be announced. Toby's just going to break into your house, install it into your PC, and take $8 from you overnight. Like Santa Claus. My boyfriend is washing the dishes and I just heard him say, hey, who do you work for? Who's your contact? While repeatedly pushing a glass under water. At least he's having fun. One thing you have to admire about the new Puss in Boots movie is that it has one of the few interpretations of death in animation that is not just a robe skeleton with a scythe. That's not to say that classic design of death or the Grim Reaper is bad, it's just so tired and overused at this point. Not to mention it's hot as fuck. Is it not enough to intensely daydream a fanfic in painful, emotional, and visual detail constantly for over a week? Must I also convert it to doc slash word format as well? Gaddy. I told my mom it was National Compliment Day, and the first thing she said was, You have a big-ass forehead. Why is everyone so mean to me? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Big forehead means that no one can possibly miss when they kiss you on the forehead. Just saying. Listen, people on the internet will look for any and every reason to hate everything, and to those people I say, get a fucking life. This, this, fucking this. Uh, Andy, put, just put, just put sparkles around this. This is, this is it. This is the one. My biggest nitpick with Elden Ring so far is that sometimes the death animation feels like it takes an eternity. Then do not die. Yeah, try to see it less. I could be a total geek and try to explain why the death animation is so long, but let's just not go there. Me, when I'm in an area. That's a guy, all right. Yo, he's so fucking over there. You know, it's fair and fart and shout. Hey, never put those words together in a sentence ever again, thanks. I remember about four years ago, I was browsing Tumblr as per usual, when I accidentally tripped on a wire and fell on my face. I guess you could say I took a tumble. I'm funny, right? Please laugh. You know what? Just, Andy, just give him half a rim shot and before it hits the tsh, just, just end the video. Hello, I've been informed that I yell and scream too much in my videos for the sake of comedy.
So now I'll proceed to read these in a very normal, monotone voice. Andy, please transform me into the normal man. Thank you. Harsh writing advice. Your project isn't garbage, you just need to go to bed. First of all, how dare you? Do you ever think about how a series of tiny choices like, I guess I'll watch that show, can like totally and entirely change huge aspects of your life? Wow. You know, I would trade places with a black bear sitting in a stream right now. Right now. Oops, I realized that was too goofy. I guess I broke my own rules. Might as well go back to being me. Ah! I mean, yes, I could have put all that in a single post, but an increasingly unhinged self reblog has better dramatic pacing. Leaves the room, then immediately marches right back in, finger upraised. And another thing! Bucky, what's your answer to the trolley question? Run over the one guy, then set the train in reverse. To, to run over the other five guys? No, because I forgot my wallet at home. Yes, to run over the other five guys, idiot! Oh, Thor, if that's you, bitch, I love you. This is Zeus erasure. Zeus deserves to be erased. Oh, sorry, I guess I was info dumping again. Sad, shy, apologetic. You sly dog, you caught me monologuing. Cool, strong, and confident. Be more like Syndrome, but actually, no, not really. I take that back. Hold on. At my boss's funeral, kneeling and whispering at coffin. Who's thinking outside the box now, Gary? I told this joke to my wife while she was using mouthwash and she spit it out. Behold, sun rays shine on the warm breath of a polar bear. Alternative option, fire-breathing polar bear shows off his skills. The fact that bakers aren't called breadsmiths is a fucking crime. I agree. I too make random noises when I'm bored. Take his ace to the time loop. Please no, you can't do this to me. Please no, you can't do this to me. Please no, you can't do this to me. I'm stuck in a loop. The words stuck and loop got mashed together in my brain and read, I'm in a soup, so yeah. Funny you say that. I personally am stuck in a soup. Please, no, you can't. Here's your sign to do something spontaneous. Well, that's one way to do it. Hey, look what I can do now. Aye, 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 aye. Awaken, my master! Baby girl, I know video game lore you wouldn't even care about. College isn't real. Money isn't real. But you know what's real? Live music. Nicknames, when you shorten someone's name affectionately. Niggalous names, when you elongate someone's name affectionately. Nichered names, when you incorrectly elongate someone's name for humorous effect. For example, regarding that last post, I know video game lore you wouldn't even care about. Things that Mattity Patity says to his wife. <laughs> I wish I could just draw my characters instead of imagine drawing them. <sighs> I did not order this box of cat. How are you complaining? Look at its face! It's literally making the colon three face. I want to pet him. You know, I was trying to come up with a subtle joke about this, but all the ones I thought of were too ham-fisted. <laughs> when exactly is Uptown Funk gonna give it to me? Saturday night when you're in the spot, did you not hear Bruno? I don't believe you. Just watch. Legs, brought to you by Necromancy. Isn't this the plot of Onward? Yo, Mr. White, can you switch me back to wet food? This dry shit sucks, bitch. I feel like Tumblr is giving me a somewhat skewed impression of what Breaking Bad is about. Galaxy brains myself out of existence. Oh my god, the gender neutral version of Goth Girlfriend is part noir! Shout out to the girl in 10th grade who introduced me to the phrase SUCK ON MY METAPHORICAL NUTS Thanks, Sarah. Wherever you are, our paths crossed so briefly, but you changed me forever. If I could replace all the porn on the internet with scary ghost pictures, I would. Do it, Pucky. Get him. I heard the Grim Reaper is bisexual. Apparently, death comes for us all. JEFF! Neil Gaiman, can't you explain this? Absolutely. They are what we call pictures. In this case, images taken from a longer set of moving pictures we call an animated film. This series of animated films is called Arthur. In the original version, the frames are projected many times a second and due to phenomenon known as persistence of vision, appear to us to be moving. Any questions? K 
God, that was such a base dancer. Well, we're receiving unconfirmed reports that it's bedtime. Citizens are advised to get into the pajamas and remain on high alert. Okay, I guess the video's over. Bye, everybody. You know, my hunger ass could never be a mechanic. What? <coughs> Hi. Writing prompt. It is known that the older a vampire, the more powerful it is. At a few centuries, a vampire is nearly unstoppable. You've just met a Stone Age vampire. Oh my god. Hey, don't cry. Crush three cloves of garlic into a pot with a dollop of olive oil and stir until golden, then add one can of crushed tomatoes, a bit of balsamic vinegar, half a tablespoon of brown sugar, half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and stir for a few minutes, adding a handful of fresh spinach until wilted and mix in pasta of your choice, okay? So, uh, I've tried streaming for exactly two minutes before my social anxiety commanded me to stop. What's even worse is that I had two randos in my stream and I just said, no, I can't, and just ended the stream. The Marie Kondo approach to gender. Does it spark joy? Based. Does it suck? Throw it out. Does anyone else have a doc where you put the fun ideas you don't have time to write? Alpocalypse and Lamageddon. Those are so good, what? And I thought I was edgy when I called mine the cemetery. <laughs> Pucky, yeah, I've run out of games to play. I've played everything on Xbox Game Pass and have nothing else. You must play Hollow Knight. You must bite the bullet and play Elden Ring, even if it isn't on the Game Pass. You must play The Outer Wilds. You must buy a PC and play Factorio and Terraria. Now do these things. This is phrased like a biblical commandment. You must buy me hot Cheetos at the store. You must buy me a Diet Pepsi. You must bring it to me and give me it. Uh, so tired this fine morning. Mood. Me at any given time. Can we just buckle down and focus on the task at hand, please? My brain. Hmm. Rainbow sprinkles. Capture. Spinch. Bunch. Chicken nuggies. Broggle. Stir babies. I feel called out because I do this. Blooper reels for anything make me so stupidly sentimental. Watching them with tears in my eyes, like, look at them, laughing together, goofing off, being human, having fun, creating art in the process. I feel so normally about this. I miss when Pixar used to do it like they purposely made bloopers. What happened, Pixar? What happened? Quoting vines in Rome to see who responds. So far we have, in the Colosseum, a tour guide was talking about who sat where, and when the mention that the emperor and some other guy sat in one place, I said, and they were roommates. And one of the girls in the tour said, oh my god, they were roommates! In a thick German accent before glaring at me. And an alcove in the Vatican Museum with nothing in it, and I quietly said, this bitch empty. And a British girl said, yeet! Before realizing her mistake and telling me to go fuck myself. You're the hero we need. Yet don't deserve. Hey, Rambo. Gay ass. <gasps> Where? Is it me or did Meet the Robinsons predict Super Mario Odyssey? Let's see, flying hat, frog possession, dinosaurs. Yeah, Meet the Robinsons is Waluigi Odyssey. Fuck! Also, hi, Austin. Perceive a drawing of an adult in 1884. <gasps> oh my god, it's your mom! Holy shit, I have the best idea. Okay, my line of logic was, well, if I put the sponge in the blender, when I turn it on, the sponge will spin around and scrub the blender for me so I don't have to spend ages cleaning it. That's not what happened, though. Person on the phone. Hello, am I speaking to the head of the household? Me handing the phone to my cat. It's for you. No posts available? What? What the hell, man? Suspiciously post-shaped crumbs around my mouth. Oh, no, what happened? No, little German boy, don't go to the weed cave. Oh my god, this is ain't full of blood smoking! <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell is that last post? No, little German boy, don't go to the county fair! Oh my god, I already feel so utterly clogging! No one understands me. Alright, stop! Eight billion alive people, 15,000 years of human history. Someone has felt what you're feeling! Just stop it. Gentle reminder that often creativity decides to hibernate for a bit. It's okay. You're not broken. You're resting. And much like spring, creativity comes back. I needed to read this today. Wait, is that Will Wheaton? Love to cause situations. Hate to be near them, really. Undiagnosable. Um, butterflies when they flap their wings. <laughs> of course you have pro hair and blue nouns. One can't decide whether to join the Bards College or the Thieves Guild. Hmm. 
One will just have to weigh the pros and the cons. Perceive a grammatical gender of countries' names in Croatian language. <sighs> Splatoon Mega Turf War! My laptop wasn't working, so I yelled CHRISTO at it, and the screen immediately turned black. I'm performing an exorcism now. Is that... is that silly string? It's not silly string if it's a very serious matter. Hmm. Serious string. I am a goddamn innovator. My jug of Arizona tea had a hole in the bottom, so I poured it into an empty milk jug because they're both gallons, and my intellectual mind had deduced that it would fit, and it fits. So I have been informed that a gallon of any liquid will fit into any gallon container, so I am not, in fact, a genius. Mm. So the shower perch fell off the wall today, and Mia got a bit more water than she bargained for. Mia would like the internet to know that she is now warm and dry. Oh my god, look at her. Generalized anxiety disorder is kind of a funny diagnosis. Like, this bitch is just scared in general. <laughs> I hate it. You have not experienced true fear until a poster falls down in the middle of the night. Yeah, one time I thought a poster had fallen down in the middle of the night, but when I turned on my light, it was actually a possum that fell through the ceiling into my room. So that's actually true fear. Oh. Get asked, idiot. Get answered, idiot. Get replied, idiot. Get screenshotted, idiot. Get reblogged, idiot. Get tagged, idiot. Get peer reviewed, idiots. Image description. One, a screenshot of a reply that reads, get replied, idiot. Two, a screenshot of Tumblr tags reading, hashtag get tagged, idiot, slash NID. Get image described, idiot. Get polled, idiot. Get cute, idiot. This reads like a World Heritage Post. <clears throat> If I may add, get voiced, idiot! I want more overgrown ruins to explore, and if I have to make them myself, then so be it! This makes me picture someone aggressively planting vines around a family dollar that closed down two weeks ago. The older I get, the more dog I become. Obsessed with being given affection and being told I'm doing a good job. Losing my damn mind every time I get to go for a nice walk. You're terrified of the doorbell. You think being gay is hard? Try telling people you're only attracted to clowns. You know, narcissism ain't cute, sis. Yesterday, I bought and downloaded the Stanley Parable, and then my power went out for the rest of the day. God himself didn't want me to play the Stanley Parable. God is the narrator. So my working theory is that reincarnation is real, and that's why everything is so fucked up. We got too many people on Earth and their souls were supposed to spend a few more cycles as endangered animals or something, but we fucked the environment and got overpopulated. So we get guys who were supposed to be like black-footed ferrets or whatever till their soul reached maturity, but instead they're like influencers and politicians. This is also why furries exist. Yeah, I'll go ahead and integrate that into my belief system. Hey, PM, why are your characters ugly? Because they ain't catered to you, obviously. Like, literally, what the fuck are Anon's tastes? Your character's far from ugly as it gets. You know, because they are Anon. I'm a clown on them. They likely prefer the characters from Control All Delete. What a loss of taste. Hey. You know, if Carp could speak, they would all have French accents. Oh, mon dieu. You have cut me. Whatever kills me better be ready to do it again in 30 minutes. Can't believe I've been friend-zoned by a skeleton. I need more context on this. Can't believe I've been friend-zoned by a skeleton! I can't believe that changing the font provides more context than actually explaining it. Look, I'm not saying that demoting a planet named after the Roman god of death stoked his rage and brought down on us his vengeful fury and retribution, but... <laughs> Finally, an explanation. People at work. Wow, you are always in such a good mood. How do you do that? Me, an actually cranky, apathetic train wreck human. It's called manner, Susan. Do not mistake composure for ease. Once again, do not mistake composure for ease. I don't know isn't an answer. How about I throw you off of a cliff? What would you say then? Itasha, literally painful car, is a Japanese term for a fashion of individuals decorating the bodies of their cars with fictional characters of anime, manga, or video games. Especially Bashojo games or... <laughs> It's good to know the extremely appropriate name for the subculture, I guess. 
<laughs> Cringe mobile. Screw the enemies to lovers pipeline. Give me frenemies with benefits. Do it, cowards. You won't. Thinking about the guy who sent me an ask with a link to a Discord server, and I joined it without hesitation, and it was just like four dudes hanging out. There he is. Here comes trouble. Looks like they'll let anyone in here. Cools are reverse boats designed to keep land out. Just for that, I am digging up a chunk of dirt and grass and plopping it into the pool while maintaining eye contact with you. They are designed to keep water in, you fuck nugget. You know, there isn't any wind in space, so Darth Vader was using the force to make his cape flow for aesthetic. People can only dream of being this extra. I love when someone sends a Tumblr post over Discord and the embed just highlights their blog title like, He just broke his pussy! And when we finally kill the gods, neither hell nor heaven will be waiting for them, because they created those to imprison us. Burn my eggs got mad, sorry. Yeah. Bro, the me inside your head is kind to you, right? Mm hmm Bro, you wouldn't use my memory to represent your own self-doubt and loathing, right, bro? Bro? I'm awesome like sauce. I'm sauce like apple. People who use baby naming websites, expecting parents, trans people changing their names, writers, that guy outside my dorm room who was arguing with his buddy on whether the name Zach was in the Bible, and then they very loudly announced that BehindTheName.com says it's biblical in origin, so fuck you. Soup fans be like, hmm, not quite. Excuse me, water, meat, vegetables, salt, this is soup. It's too cold. Gaspacho. There's no tomatoes in it. There's at least one tomato in it. Guarantee you. <coughs> I will now serenade the song of my people. Me, 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 me. Ah! Uh, I'm a walking corpse populated by coffee. And he hit me with the good stuff. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. Growth is pausing as I go to open Twitter and thinking, you know what, actually, we don't need to do that. And yet here you are on Tumblr. Yeah, the difference is that, that Twitter is like being actively hit in the head with hammers, whereas logging onto Tumblr is like being given a hammer and expected to hit my own head with it, which I do. Writing prompt. Look, said the demon, this is the 13th time you've summoned me to sell your soul. My boss wants to know where you're getting all these souls. I'll never tell. Beach boys, city girls, mountain goats. Ain't this the trio from Percy Jackson? It would be great if we all stopped limiting who we are based on our skill levels. I'm trying to be an artist. Shh, you are one. My writing sucks. I'll never be a writer. Shh, stop that. I'm not actually an open heart surgeon. Shh, shh, shh. We all make mistakes in the heat of the moment. And that's what you're going to tell the court, right? Hmm? Brown works so hard and does so much and everyone is so mean to her. Coffee, chocolate, hair, leather, tea, wood, eyes, broth, a warm coat, autumn leaves, caramelized onions, the crust on a loaf of bread. All things good and warm and kind are brown. Bitch. Trans women are literally so cool. You get tits and prostate? I thought only Markiplier could do that. I need to stop posting after taking my meds, Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, guys, we don't, we don't have to reblog this post. Like, we can keep it to ourselves. We can, we can let this post not be reblogged. <laughs> no. The distinction between board games and tabletop RPGs only exists in your heart, baby. I'm going to roleplay in this game of Catan, and you can't stop me, officer. I am arrested and jailed anyway for playing Settlers of Catan. You know, you can do a character voice in Monopoly. They won't stop you. This is what big board games don't want you to know. Me starts eating healthy and drinking water. Oh, wow, this is actually really nice and fun. <clears throat> I said this is really nice, brain. Oh, right, here's some dopamine for the bare minimum, you basic-ass bitch. Thank you. All of the famous INTJs are like mathematicians and scientists and inventors and world changers, and I'm just over here eating an entire box of milk duds for breakfast. Nuclear astrophysicist, researcher, astronomer, your bio? Yeah, I made this post a few years ago. Now I'm a scientist that eats milk duds for breakfast. Oh, inspiring, actually. It is. To milk duds. In the slime dimension, it's called Goo York City. I'm blabbing here. Your god said there's only two genders? Ha, 
My God said, reject gender, embrace hoofs. I haven't heard that song. I only listen to CDs I steal out of unlocked cars. So I'm going to burn a mixtape and leave it in the car with the window rolled down. Have fun. <laughs> Smells like bitch in here. <gasps> it might be you. Shut up. Ohio is stealing my life story. A series of train wrecks in an already depressed area. It's all right, Jeff. It's all right. PNG is my friend. JPEG is my mentor. WebP is my sworn enemy. Seriously, I want to find whoever made WebP. And we're just going to have a little talk. Just a little talk. Just a little talk. Don't mind the knife. It's just a little talk. Oh, I'm so full. I can't finish this dinner. Could someone split this last item with me? I can't eat it all by myself. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll split it with you. What could possibly go wrong? Quick, funniest reason for someone to become a villain. As a crush on the hero and can't be normal about it. Perfect. Her eyes were the sickly green of the sky before a tornado. And to his horror, he discovered she could throw cows around just as easily. Or Orc wife? If you like the word queer, we blog. Fun umbrella. We're all sitting under it like the big rainbow thing in elementary school gym class. Behold, the queer community. Look how happy they are. Oh, to be a generic enemy, but with a very interesting design that leaves a lasting impression and slowly gains a weird cult following. All right, YouTube comments, which character are they talking about? Baby girl, your design is so complicated and hard to draw. Please stop. I had a dream. I got an ass that said, can you do that thing where you only make mask posts for a day? And I was like, what does this mean? And Anna said, you only make posts that come off as masculine all day for a full day. And I was like, you know what? Sure. And I queued a low-res picture of a flaming skull to be posted every hour on the hour for 24 hours and then didn't check Tumblr until it was over. If someone hasn't done that yet, do it. You know, as a treat for the defunct land guy, we should all just try to convince Elon Musk that he would be so, 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 so good at designing roller coasters. Please, oh, please, I want to see this. Emails can lift ten times their body weight, prefer dubstep music over classical, and they can grieve their dead, which makes them a terrifying and hopeless animals. And that's why we don't want to send them, all right? Hello there. <gasps> B -b -noy. Correct. And I sparkle. You are a special little bean. Protect this one. You're all the coolest people I vaguely know. Trying to talk in Discord servers feels like trying to sit at the lunch table with the popular kids in middle school and totally fucking it up. Don't mind me, I'll just be lurking in the corner over there. <laughs> Pokemon, friend, what do you think of highly advanced AI such as ChatGBT or Bard? Oh, the parasocial relationships lonely people are gonna have for those robots. Joke's on you. I already have one with you. Okay, this, this is gonna sound weird, but I, I need your credit card number. Buddy? I just learned that there is going to be a live-action Barbie movie, and I expect two things from it. One, for it to be as good as Legally Blonde at minimum. And two, a scene where Bobby hands in a resume and it's as thick as a novel. Bonus, number three, Barbie saying, don't worry, I'm a professional. For literally anything. Which is the scariest dream I've ever seen. Salmon when they narrowly escape a bear. Yeah. Sometimes touching grass isn't enough. Sometimes all you really need is to fight God. And that's perfectly okay. It's literally every Final Fantasy ever, isn't it? And now, a bad joke by Jeff. <clears throat> a doctor and a lawyer were talking at a party. However, their conversation was constantly interrupted by people who were describing their ailments and asking the doctor for free medical advice. After an hour of this, the exasperated doctor asked the lawyer, what do you do to stop people from asking you for legal advice when you're out of the office? I give it to them, replied the lawyer, and then I send them a bill. The doctor was shocked, but agreed to give it a try. The next day, still feeling slightly guilty, the doctor prepared the bills. When he went to place them in his mailbox, he found a bill from the lawyer. <laughs> I mean, come on, you should have seen it coming. <laughs>
Hey, uh, gelatin's made of animal proteins. Does this mean you could use, like, I don't know, necromancy on jelly cubes and have a small, jiggly, undead army? Gods, I hope so. The origin story for gelatinous cubes has been found. I no longer identify as pansexual. I am panic sexual, which means I can be attracted to any gender and it just stresses me out. Become unfollowable. Actually, in this day and age, that's pretty easy. What am I looking for in a male character? Hmm. I'm personally partial to little freaks who have suffered more than Jesus, so write that down. It's so annoying to be hungry in the morning. I already had coffee. What am I supposed to do? Wait, boob staring is an ADHD thing? I hope this site never gets deleted. Yeah, I got ADHD. Admiring those huge doinkers. No boyfriend, no girlfriend, no money, no prospects, but at least I got all these images on my cell phone. I can't tell if that's a joke at people who have memes on their phone or NFT users. Tesla's not really a car or spaceship company. That's all smoke and mirrors. Elon Musk is actually one inch tall and is being projected to look larger. Tesla's real invention is technology that makes him appear to be the size of a fully grown man when he's just an inch tall. <laughs> No, I will not make separate vlogs for my fandoms. Everyone who follows me must experience all my insanity. If there's anything I observed about being gay online is that the worst thing you could ever do to yourself is become a children's cartoon creator. There's some people saying they will try anyway, and it's the off chance next big future showrunner sees this. Delete social media. High school sucks, man. One time these kids shoved me into a submarine and welded it shut and then lowered me into the ocean and blood it was this whole thing. Didn't that happen to the Beatles? Yeah, the Beatles were there and that's why it sucked. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. I Andy, hold me back, hold me back, hold me back. Yeah, I'm forgetting the word for compromise. Oh, uh, what if our choice is bisexual? Oh man, I gotta pee so hard. They must have laced this drink with glass of water. Fuck. Hey, does anyone have a torrent link for the memories of all humans past, present, and future? I can't seem to find it myself. You wouldn't download someone's trauma illegally, would you? Comments, would you? The Mata Mata Turtle looks like your grandmother when you're telling her about something that she doesn't understand, but she loves you and is being supportive. The Mata Mata Turtle also has one of the coolest feeding mechanisms ever, where it literally creates a vacuum so strong fish can't escape and just swallows them whole. 10 out of 10 animal. Just like my grandmother. Guys, I never smoked weed. Wow. Wow. So all your posts are sober. Huh. Why is my spectrum so sore today? Oh my god. Not spectrum, I meant septum! Fuck! Not that I don't love the curse biofacts, but do you have any blessed biofacts? <clears throat> Hyenas can loaf like house cats! Oh my god! Hey, if a guy's lay motif starts building up again, but this time it's got like the church choir chanting in light, and it's because he's decided to cool and be friends, right? Right? I need a dedicated <laughs> button in my story based penguin game. Yes, yes, you do. Do it. Do it right now. Your stomach thinks that all potatoes are mashed. Just shower thoughts. What's going on over there? You okay? Can I ride around in your jacket hood? Absolutely. Yay! I need an artist rendition, please. Here you go. Look at that little baby. Interesting how Pi Day comes before Kill Caesar Day. Almost as if they use the same knives from cutting pies to stab Caesar. Hey, I mean, like, if you want to save time and not, like, you know, wash the knives and put them away and then have to take them back out. Be sure to leave out milk and cookies for Brutus tonight. You can leave as many cookies as you want, but he'll only eat two. This remains the funniest addition anyone's made to one of my posts. Good job! They hate me because I'm silly and so intense at the same time! Excuse me, are you a renowned pizza tower destroyer Papino Spaghetti? But how can I do this five minute task if I'm leaving in 30 minutes? Shh, shut your mouth! Inside of you there are two wolves. One wants to work on a million new exciting projects, the other refuses to do anything it's not instantly good at. You are a former gifted child. Oh, God, that one hurt. How do you write British people? Breathe. Go watch a few Top Gear specials, the pilot episode of Black Books, and some clips of Taskmaster on YouTube. You will still have no idea how to write British people, but you will feel better about that.
Look, I can only make this joke because I'm the one editing this video. Andy will never know. Right, guys? Adulthood is carefully writing a two-paragraph email that could actually just be reduced completely to say, Hey! What the fuck? I don't get art writer's block. I'm in a constant state of art writer's block. I just get very, very brief, very, very rare moments of art writer's clarity. White knuckling the bathroom sink. But I stay silly. But I stay silly. But I stay Dickens is a funny last name. What's next? Coxtafer? Where's the line? Should someone tell Nelly about Pussy Willow? The tension I have in urge. I don't know what that urge is, but I have it. Okay, but are you sun-coded or moon-coded? Well, I'm hermit-coded with elements of strength and upside-down hero fan. How about you? Wait, were you asking if I'm more active during the day or at night? The existence of pronouns implies that there are also amateur nouns. Fascinating. My friend told me that her boyfriend got her a super cool rock while they were on vacation together, and you would not believe my disappointment when I realized she was talking about her engagement ring. Ugh. I love watching DVDs, because the little commercials beforehand be like, Coming to you, spring 2008. Like, man, I can't wait for 2008. Knock and knock, open the door, it's a me. Please open the door. Open up, hee <laughs> hee. Please. Probably bad RPG idea. Summon everything. Range everywhere. Duration all at once. Now that's award winning gold right there. Which tip number 154? Wearing a peach pit around your neck will ward off evil. Bad witch tip. Several peach pits and a slingshot will ward off everything else. Worse witch tip. A few peach pits correctly distilled will produce cyanide, which should sort your problems out nicely. Chaotic good, chaotic neutral, chaotic evil. The women in my Bluetooth headphones sound mad at me. Power on. Connected. Like, sorry for bothering you, queen. Y'all did Tony get Alden Ring? Nah, he's scared of it. Why is he scared of it? The monsters. Yeah, <laughs> choosing to read this as if I were eavesdropping on Italian mobsters. What the fuck do you mean the threat of prophecy is severed? If the grand design is so fragile as to come unraveled by the severing of a single thread, then maybe there's a better destiny in store for those who hold the scissors. Mad because you killed an essential NPC, aren't you? I think if he was truly essential, he would have had more fire resistance, to be honest. Huh. Something small but unexpected happened and threw me off my rhythm. The whole day's ruined now. It's gonna take me three to five business days to recover. <laughs> Pucky, does anything surprise you in your asks anymore? <laughs> no. I don't believe that, but I get it. Listen, I've been on Tumblr for 10 years. And in that time, I've been sent every single combination of words possible. Much like the infinite monkey typewriter theorem. Every single sentence that has ever existed currently exists in my ask box. I have been sent fan fiction of myself, porn of all kinds, live leak footage, and worse. It's Pandora's box in there, and you must thank me for keeping all of you safe from its contents. Yeah, that's great, but we've been trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty. I think there should be more snails. Snails and slugs, gastropoda. Altogether, there are estimated to be as many as 43,000 species of snails, which is about 78% of all mollusks that by no means only live on land. More. Okay, if they want more snails. Andy, snail rain. Or alternatively, just one giant snail coming down the screen. Whatever is easy for you, buddy. You all really need to learn to accept that the fact that you don't like someone or something doesn't mean it's secretly evil somehow. Like, annoyance and disinterest and anger are normal human emotions, but we've created this weird culture where you are only allowed to have bad feelings about things if it's for some righteous cause. And instead of taking that deeply flawed and unhealthy, mind you, notion and maybe, I don't know, learn to manage negative feelings that aren't productive. People have just decided that it means that anytime they don't like something, they have to find some grand noble justification for their dislike. But really, you really don't. Someone can be kind and good and still annoy the fuck out of you. You're allowed to think a show sucks even if it isn't problematic. It's literally fine. And if I may add something, if someone genuinely dislikes something, 
and it's something that you enjoy, don't try to push it down their throat. If they don't like it and they give very good valid reasons why they don't like it, let them be. I can't believe clowns are real. <laughs> what the fuck? Hmm. Did you just discover mirrors? Shut up! Shut the fuck up! I just ate basically uncooked oatmeal and it was pretty good. Huh. Worst type of meal. You're so chicken coated. Just leave me alone. Is this the boy with brown eyes you've all been talking about? Not gonna lie. I'ma pet him. Oh, your mysterious glowing liquid's green? Uh, nothing. Yeah, no, it's just me, me and other boys around the mad science factory have really been into like glowing blue liquid lately. <laughs> now, like, it's totally fine that yours is green. <laughs> He's screen. Chihuahuas want to be cats, but they can't, and they're mad about it. You consume media. I get consumed by media. We are not the same. Jesus Christ, fine, I'll say it. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy, okay? Do you know what being sleepy does to a person? To their spirit? I should be pitied. And here you are, mocking me. Oh my God. Oh, where, Lord, he coming? I hate my brain because it has gifted me with a memory spottier than that of an alcoholic goldfish. Earrings change your gender, not like fully, but they change it. They're a flavor enhancer, like salt or soy sauce. Chemistry. More substantial gender. PM, you are now in the last game you played. Where are you and how do you survive? Oh, frick, it's Elden Ring. Guess I'm vibing with merchants, because after hearing their story, damn, they need company. Like, holy shit, the cut frenzied flame content. Not everything is about your blobos. To you, maybe. To me, every other song, and probably that car commercial, is about them. Welcome to Borg's King, where our menu stretches outside of the restaurant and contains every possible combination of ingredients. Would you like Borg's? You get Borg's. Onion is such a good cat name, actually. Normally I don't like when people give cats human names, but I'll make an exception in Onion's case. How many people named Onion do you know? This close to putting hot sauce on my toes. I, I forgot to give context for this. What context could you possibly give that would make this any better? My cat's biscuit and gravy are aggressive toe biters and they will stop at nothing to obtain the experience of feet in their mouth. I still feel like that's not enough context. Sorry, Professor, I could not do this assignment. So there are fictional characters in my head. Firefox official, are you secretly gay? I'm pretty openly gay, actually. Why are your boxes so expensive? I just want to cover my ass. Me when I'm a 1930s gangster looking to hire some muscle. Please, please be nice to me. I live in America. Do you even know what that does to a person? Do you? I hope this evil reaches you well. Did the email? I hope this email reaches you well. Nice cover voice. You know, Coca-Cola can remove rust from metal. Imagine what it's doing to your body. Pff, getting rid of rust, idiot. That's not how it works. Hmm. You know, I've been drinking soda. My body is rust free. Hmm. Not sure where you're getting your facts from. <laughs> Listen, I may not have the best body, but it sure does hold all my organs in place. Now, do me a favor and pick up my gallbladder. It's right there. So my friend made herself into a 15 foot long cardboard velociraptor with googly eyes. You hold on to that friend. Hold tight and never let go. There are some questions it's really just not appropriate to ask a lady. Questions like, how much yarn do you already have? And don't you already have three projects? Or where would we store a blowtorch? Ugh. Hey, if a dwarf gets lycanthropy, does it turn into a corgi? A reasonable question that the DM did not see fit to answer. Does it, Andy? Writing prompt. You've been abandoned on the battlefield, the enemy closing in, forsaken by heaven and countrymen, you retreat to the deepest corner of your mind. If your gods won't help, perhaps the inner dark will. You cry out to the void, and it answers. It's just me, sitting there with a little slurpy. Hi. Do y'all ever just want to make a Tumblr post, but your mind blue screens and all you can think of is... Yeah. Five asexuals are playing cards. One starts to explain the rules. I'd say no cheating, but there are already five aces at the table. <laughs> uh. 
Apparently I'm playing Skyrim again, and by playing Skyrim, I obviously mean spending hours installing mods before I ever open the game. Hmm, before play with Todd. Do you ever think before you post? Yes, I think. <laughs> Funny, and hit post. I should have the option to put something I like in my mouth. How dare I only be able to give likes and kudos? I want it in my mouth. Just let me eat it. Just dumb. Combine your Chinese zodiac and astrology sign to make your true persona. I still hate this post so much. I'm an ox and a Taurus. I'm a bull. Bull. I'm so fucking annoyed. Oh my god. Mine would be a horse Pisces, so congratulations. I am apparently a seahorse. One tectonic plate approaching another. So, are you a top or a bottom? Two tops, you get a mountain. Two bottoms? Valley, bro. I, I, I don't know anything about geology. I hit the blunt and I immediately feel like a content aware scaled black cat. I do a weed and feel like this. <laughs> get sprinkled, idiot. Zombie girl and ghost girl who bond over their shared interests and similarities and fall in love, only to later learn that they came from the same person who died. Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Don't say that. Please don't say that. Perceive Luigi shuffling up one of his casino minigames in Super Mario 64 DS. Isn't gambling illegal in Japan? Luigi's Italian. Oh, to be a handsome young Navy man in 1930 with curly hair and dirt on my nose on my break from hauling cargo from the shipyard, reading a little blue book titled The Homosexual Life that I bought for five cents, pretending not to notice the banker's son eyeing me in a truly sinful way. Yo, some of these are getting so specific that I'm not convinced y'all ain't just describing your past lives in some weird misconnections faux tumbler me. I should draw. Uno player who is staring at a collar they don't have but is slightly too stubborn to draw immediately. Cowboy is getting nervous during a quick draw duel but doesn't want to draw too soon because that would be embarrassing. Great job, guys. Hit the showers. So, Heat Miser prefers temperatures above 60 degrees. And Snow Miser prefers temperatures below 40 degrees. Therefore, 50 degree weather is the optimal way to piss off both of the Miser brothers. In this essay, I will. I hate basic babies. Goo goo gaga, stacking blocks and shit. Listen to Aphex Twin. Weren't you a basic baby once? I ate a cricket. I was hardcore. Yeah, well, I choked on a bullet when I was a baby. Dude, that's badass. Hey. <laughs> hey. What's it called when a furry says they're sorry? What? An anthropology. <laughs> I can't even be mad. That was good. You know, there should be a way to enable anons, but only from your mutuals. You won't know who said it, but you know it's coming from inside the house. Imagine if you knew this guy and his nickname was Andy, then you find out his full name is Android. Imagine how fucked up that'd be. I need to stop posting things past midnight. Yeah, I mean, God, you're just about to expose good old Andy as a robot. He's not one, right? Right, Andy? You're not a robot, right? A beautiful kitten was born somewhere five minutes ago. Just a um, meow, meow. Think about that. Plain milk is an ingredient. You add it to things. Chocolate milk is fine dining. Evil info dumping where you just tell lies. Did you mean older brother? Looking at you, Zach. Thinking, <laughs> what if I jokingly ship them? Is your last chance to get out, by the way. What if I ship this as a joke is literally the devil talking? Reblog, if boredom is the main reason you create stuff, then you create more of that stuff just because you are proud and want more of it. Now don't mind me as I reblog this call out on myself. <laughs> How do you pronounce your first name? Itchy. Oh wait, that's not what that said. The concept of platonic marriage is so appealing, not gonna lie. You mean I can marry whoever I want, get tax benefits, a roommate, and I don't have to worry about them thinking I'm unattractive. King shit. This post is a year and a half old and it's literally so funny to me. <laughs> I, 
I'm aromantic now. I think you were aromantic then, too. Please help me, I'm drowning. Whatever you do, do not stop pouring water on that thing. One time I dreamt my friend was Italian. Oh my god. I love indie RPGs that have non-binary main characters who are meant to be vessels in their own respective ways, explore kingdoms that have fallen into very hard times, have complicated sibling dynamics, fall downwards in some way, often underground, and have the word soul be very relevant in their games. It's incredible. It's happened more than once, too. Good stuff. Brutalism is when there's concrete. The more conk they create, the more brutalism -er it is. Wow. Humans don't have enough ornamentation. There's the plumage, the antlers. I could go for a good vibrant throat sack I could display as I sing in the mating season. God, that sounds cursed. If I ran a zoo, I would allow my guests to hang out the animals. I think it would generate a lot of interest into my zoo. Would your guests be the animals? Guaranteed lawsuit otherwise? Have faith in me. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <gasps> Thanks. When will the clown sightings happen again? That was fun. Look in the mirror and they can start today. Since man can't judge me and I don't fear God, I've decided to start playing harmonica on my commute. Oh my God, the raw power. Polls on here always be like, LGBTQ character tournament. And it'll be between a female character from a Yuri manga who is canonically a lesbian and has explicit on-page gay sex in her series versus some random Shonen Jump boy whose gayest moment was a, and I quote, carefully edited Evanescence Bring Me To Life AMV where he looks at another boy for five seconds and he'll be winning 70-30. Listen, I've been on the internet a very long time and I gotta say, sometimes an AMV can be very convincing. Every day, there are at least a few posts being made. Maybe more. Hmm. Doubt it. All right, trans people, we're returning to the fucking sea until shit gets better. Let's go, everyone. <laughs> Your characters are like geodes. If you want to see what they're really made of, you must break them. <laughs> They call me creepy on account of I, I, I'm, 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 I'm pasta. It's all right, man. Stand up is hard. Don't be nervous. We're going to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Candy Mountain. You better get this reference or I will cry. Where, where's my kidney, Anna? Don't play D&D &D with anyone you wouldn't want to go on a three-hour car trip with. D&D &D is a three to four-hour car trip, except there are rules and goblins and rules goblins. And sometimes DM gremlins. Like that one! By my own logic, cereal is a dumpling soup. Cereal is boiled in liquid? Pfft, get a lot of this, loser. They've never had boiled cereal. You will become the marinara sauce on my next plate of spaghetti. A purple bell pepper is possible. A purple bell pepper is possible. Reblog if you agree. That's definitely a poisonous bell pepper. They're adding the stinky meal to McDonald's. <laughs> nice to know McDonald's made a meal for you. Oh! Do not interact if you have no whimsy and no joy for the miracles found within the mundane. You pleb. There is no such thing as being behind in life, but it's okay to recognize that you missed out on some things whilst you were busy surviving. Thank you. Christian rock bands are a backbone genre in the AMV scene. Christian rock band making a song. I dedicate this one to you, Jesus. An unwell 12-year-old girl who is a couple years away from having a gender crisis. This is so Naruto and Sasuke. Seriously, Monster by Skelet did wonders for the AMV fandom. Uh-oh, you misunderstood a social cue and said something mildly awkward. You'll think about that and cringe every day for the next 20 years. <laughs> <sighs> Not every single long sentence is a song title by Fall Out Boy. You know, there are two ways to read this. Do you play Roblox, Pucky Joe? No, I'm 25. People can play Roblox when they're 25, Pucky. I'm not reading what you just said. I'm 25 years old. I'm 25, and sometimes it still hits me that I can do whatever I want. Man, I wish I could go to the zoo. Wait. Please go to the zoo if you want. I am a zoo docent, and I love talking to grown-ups who are visiting the animals and want to know all about them. Please. You can buy yourself stuff in the gift shop, too. If you have the money, you don't need to ask a grown-up or anything. If you want that toy gorilla, it's yours! That's the dangerous part. 
I now have to tell the five-year-old in my brain, we have $20. He could see in my wallet. He knows I'm lying. Yeah, sorry I deboned your boyfriend. I just wanted to see how he would operate if I took all of his bones. The answer is uh, not very good, but his bones are mine now. Yeah, sorry. He has very good bones, if that's uh, any consolation. Yeah. Do you smell that? Smells like pennies. That's a joke for the people who have the most cultured of mean taste. The divorced loser energy radiating from this image is suffocating. This post feels like it should have stink lines. Good thing we have an editor here. Andy, stink lines and the foghorn noise they use for cartoons when something's gross, please? Thank you. Okay, really, rate the Mona Lisa out of 10. Two. You want to give your reasoning? Ugly ass bitch! This feels very personal. You know, as the concept of zombifying fungi becomes more and more popular, I notice it's still referred to everywhere as like a brain parasite. So I guess a lot of people overlooked or forgot how in 2019 it was discovered that cordyceps and other similar fungal parasites leave the brain and nervous system completely untouched. They only control the muscles. They use chemical signals to make the muscles flex in real time where they want to go. It's funny how many people are replying, but that's worse. Like you didn't know, that's exactly why I put a smiley. The sinister one. Having friends who love the same character as you is so, so, so important. You know what else is underrated though? Having a friend who absolutely hates a character you have never heard of. Beef with a man who is truly just some dude to you. Ultimately, the Cheesecake Factory menu fails to tell a queer narrative. Tisk tisk. <sighs> Border. How do you tell someone I'm not ignoring you, I'm just disconnected from reality right now, the days are all blurred together, and I feel completely apathetic towards everyone slash everything around me, so it's really hard for me to maintain a conversation without saying that? Brain broken. Still like you. Talk later. Anytime I hear the insufferable, transphobic athlete arguments, I think of that one time in middle school when my boys across team did a full contact scrimmage against the girls team who typically play with limited contact. And I, a six foot, 180 pound defender, got utterly laid out by this five foot nothing girl experiencing the newly unleashed animosity accompanied by violent sport. And as I looked up at my assailant from flat on my back, I experienced a brief bout of heterosexuality and fell wildly in love and then had to be taken to the ER because I had a concussion. <laughs> From flat on my back, I experienced a brief bout of heterosexuality. Took me out. I hope they still talk to each other, if not more. Opinion on apple cider? Not the alcoholic kind? I don't remember having it, but if it's like apple juice, it's gotta be good. Okay, so it's like apple juice too. It's crispier and more apple-y. It's so, 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 so good, you need to try it. Apple cider is more pure than apple juice and it's actually made of apples. Wait, <laughs> apple juice is an actual apples? <laughs>
Ah, that's a good one. My brain cells are all grabbing rifles and heading down to hunt some serotonin and feed their families. This is, in fact, why I keep zoning out. Attention! There are hummingbird species called puff legs, and they're all wearing silly pants, and that's their defining trait. Oh my god, I love everything about these. Whenever I see that 3D gif of that little heart locket, I get so excited, like, Oh my god, will be my beloved! Ah, uh, ibuprofen. You were always there for me. I keep opening and closing Tumblr like a fridge, waiting for something to stimulate my brain cells enough to stop being bored. Same, dude. Okay, now what does the word duck start with? My daughter, with full confidence. Um. Some people imagine their conscious as Jiminy Cricket, or the devil and the angel on their respective sides of one's shoulders. I have myself, astral projecting at all times, looking over my shoulder, trying to maneuver this meat puppet in the weirdest constant out-of-body experience imaginable. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm raising my son to speak, act, and dress like a 19th century British dandy, and today he told me, Mama! Today at school, a group of miscreants tried to bully me, but I bit my thumb at them and said, I pity you that your world is so small and the wonders there in so few. So proud of him. What's the point of transitioning if you're not dysphoric? What's the point of eating a burger if you're not starving to death? It looks yummy, bitch. My thighs are huge because they're full of secrets. Wrap them around my ears and let me hear them all. You smooth motherfucker. Being moderately proficient with computers in the early 2010s was casting a hex on your family to call you Sheldon. I got a Big Bang Theory box set and a Bazinga t-shirt for Christmas when I was 16. My dad wanted me to get a psych evaluation so I could say, I'm not crazy, my father had me tested like Sheldon did. And after the psych eval, they diagnosed me with paranoid schizophrenia. This, this could be the funniest thing that has ever happened to anyone ever. My condolence is king. Yes, I want to look hot. No, I don't want anyone to be attracted to me ever. Shocked and appalled that these two things cannot coexist. God, it's utterly magnetic when a character's rage is quiet and precise. They don't scream and throw things, but they just breathe. And very, very calmly aim their fury like an arrow shooting inexorably towards the target of their wrath. Captures my attention. I lean in close. I wait for the hit. It never disappoints. Moon might be the funniest thing Pokemon ever did. The entire plot of Sun and Moon is the story of this broken family, all destroyed by the disappearance of the father and husband. The mother went crazy for portals trying to find him and desperately tightens her grip on everything she can. The kids buckle under her and each flee with a stolen Pokemon. One of them even goes goth. And all the while the narrative asks, what happened to the father? Where is he? He's on Bean Island. He's the Bean Man. He's been guiding you through the magical Bean minigame on your bottom screen for the entire game. Yeah. I know Spurl. Spurl. <laughs> I know Pearl Splatoon can't win, I know, but she will always be pinkest girl in my heart. She blew up a murderous AI with a body count of at least 10,007 by singing a little song with her girlfriend, and that's got to be worth something. What is happening in Splatoon? Gnomes are invasive, sure, but they're generally pretty harmless unless you're, say, a saucer of milk or a warm crust of bread or... Heaven forbid, a ripe and juicy tomato. You know you're desensitized if you stub your little toe instead of swear words spilling out from your mouth followed by sharp inhales. You're just surprised to feel. Not to sound like your dad, but if you're not having a great time right now, you might legitimately be playing too many video games or being on that damn phone too often. Or at least without any necessary activity buffers. May I suggest coloring with physical materials or some chores you've been putting off? Hell, go outside with a bucket and make mud soup like you're five again. Take a break. You can bring your whatever for music and stuff, but like, don't play with it. Ah, the huffy teenagers in those notes. I mean this. After spending so long getting my entertainment online, there's something incredibly tranquil about shutting it all out for a while to do something in meat space for myself. Just do it. I feel like pansexuals don't come out of the closet, per se. They come out of the... Pantry? <laughs> so my school just got $6,000 donation worth of paper, and I'm currently helping sort through it. There's even more than this. Good. 
God. Hey, can Catholics be vegan? Immunity isn't vegan, is it? Is juice is a legume? Guys, please, I need a break. VeggieTales doesn't cover this, and that is the extent of my theological training. I sent my dog outside for standing on the dining room table. This was his response. Rebellion! I'm quick to assume that someone is trying to cheat me. And I don't think dwarves exist. Tabletop's fine. Important addition. This character is a dwarf. Me. Learned something absolutely cursed I wish I could unlearn. Me. Texting a friend. Hey, guess what I just found out? Found a better use for the wine glasses, I must say. That's a martini glass. I'm literally using it for milk and cookies. Does it look like I care about the finer points of debauchery? If neurotypicals are so good at picking up hints, why do they never seem to notice you leaning away when they try to touch you? If neurotypicals are so empathetic and social, why do they not notice when they're mean as fuck? If neurotypicals are so adaptable to change, why don't they make accommodations for neurodivergent people? Huh. There is a Chinese exchange student in my composition class, and we were being presented something about how you can use brackets to signify translation, and there was a Chinese text on the screen, and the professor said to him, what does that say? And he deadpanned, I can't speak Chinese. And everyone sat there in dumbfounded silence. And then the presenter clicked to show that the text literally said, I can't speak Chinese, with the most shit-eating grin on his face. Chaotic neutral. Damn, the Pope about to preach some six verses. The guy beatboxing behind him, though. The guy is the Italian president. He Francis in the prayers. I will now rap John 15 verses 1 to 17. Prez, drop the beat. I'm going straight to hell for that one. Hey, girl, sorry. Um... We stabbed your boyfriend in the Senate house. Yeah, I see you told him to be aware of the Ides of March, but he didn't listen. Brutus and Cassie has got him. So sorry. Can you believe Target puts out those big red balls out there for anyone to just come and eat? I think there should be scarier bugs that do more damage per second. Uh, I'm sorry, what does this say? About to watch Godzilla Tokyo SOS in the theater. Might report back when done. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes since it was supposed to start, and it hasn't yet. Really hope it starts soon. Okay, it's been 30 minutes at this point. Hope they actually play the movie soon. Turns out they're having technical difficulties with their projector. No ETA as of now. Final update. I just left and got a refund. Okay, so I kind of lied. As I left, they announced that it was just canceled. McDonald's sauce accident leaves six dead and one injured. Danny Phantom. What the fuck happens in that show? This is, in fact, one of the most important episodes in the entire show. If you know, you know.